I'm an onion and you're a bunch of little onion bulbs hanging out. We're going to be onions together. Let's be onions together. Pew, pew, pew. Welcome. Good morning. Uh, wow. I wish I could be you today. I wish I could be out there about to watch the show that I have for you today. Remember yesterday I said, if you're going to miss a show this week, make it yesterday's. Holy. <laughs> and you know what? Do you know what the best part is? It's not even... You don't even know. You don't even know what's about to happen. The best part of it all is you don't have a fucking clue. So to be where you're at, to not know what's coming, and it, for me to know, it's just the pure joy of it all is really, a really amazing. And... Um, and you're welcome. Just ahead of time for today's show, you're welcome. Don't even mention it. You know what you can do? Tell a friend about it. Spread the word. We're trying to beat Steel Toe on their own game, on level terms. They wanted a fight. They want to do a morning show fight. We'll take it to them. We've already had people gifting memberships. We're trying to get 800 memberships. What are we at now? I, gotta, I should give a daily update how many memberships this program has yesterday what do we have 578 we're trying to get to 800 just to beat steel toe for laughs <laughs> and uh today we yesterday 578 today processing processing today 572 we lost six we lost six. I give up. I give up. You don't even deserve it. You don't even deserve it. What what you're getting today, you pieces of shit. Holy shit, that just brought me down hard. You know, we lost six. <laughs> if you're not careful, Steel Toe, we'll go down to 500. I don't give a shit. We'll... We'll tank this whole ship. Oh, good God. Uh, Onion, update us on your pooping situation. I'm fine. I'm fine. I think I needed, you know, you ever, you ever get so sleep deprived that you, you don't shit right for days. <laughs> I think that's what happened to me. I think I was so tired, I couldn't shit straight. <laughs> but we got it now. Hey, join us over on Rumble if you're sick and tired of YouTube. Find us on Rumble like Johnny Mars. Watching us over there. Rumble.com slash C slash NLO or just search NLO on Rumble. If we ever get booted off, uh, off this YouTube thing, we'll be over on the Rumble. Getting your rants, doing a dance. Oh no, Patrick, you're on the steel toe mathematical calculations line. Yeah, I'm, I was trying to find that um, clip before the show. I saw it yesterday. Somebody was passing it around and I, for some reason, didn't save it. There's a clip going around of steel toe losing his mind they have been trying for a week serial killer five gifted subs thank you helping us reach our goal so we got uh 12 new subs in the chat today the chat is members only today and i'm gonna tell you i'm already in a mood i'm letting you know at some point today we may be locking down the program to members only Every once in a while, I like to give back to the people that support me. And I do that by taking away from the people who don't. <laughs> I'm in a giggly mood today. I'm in a giggly mood today. All right, so, uh, yeah, if anybody has that clip yesterday of Steel Toe 
absolutely losing his mind about 10,000 subscribers on YouTube saying, please, we only have 25 more. I'll never beg for any other numbers. I don't care about any other numbers. Once we hit 10,000, I can die happy. I'll never worry about other numbers. I'm not a numbers guy. I don't really care about numbers. Even though yesterday he had a calculator out. Don't forget, literally yesterday on a clip, he had a calculator out and he was trying to do calculations on the fly of the percentage of his audience that supports him monetarily. You know, I, I don't even know what to say to that. I wouldn't even know where to begin with that. So that is where we're at. Uh, check suggestions for a lull. I mean, I probably won't. Just letting you know. I'm looking for that one clip, and if anybody has it, please email it in. Otherwise, just strap the fuck in, okay? Okay. Um, is members only the same as overdose? Like, no. Fatty Melt, you've been here long enough to know. Look, you went away for a while. You're back. We're embracing you again. Don't start this shit. Don't start this shit, fatty melt. Uh, Spaghetti Tooth John, five gifted membership. We're on our way back. We're on our way. Only a hundred and a hundred and ninety-eight more to go, and we'll be even with that steel toe. Oh my god. So just so people don't know, um, Steel Toe has been trying to hit 10,000 subscribers. And, and, you know, that's quite a milestone on YouTube, of course. Anytime you're, you're delving into a new order of magnitude. Oh, shit. Where is it? Where is it? Why is it muted? Fuck, fuck, fuck. We're missing it. Shit. It's time for... It's time for, it's time for movie and the script. It's Wednesday, it's Wednesday, and we're gonna be pimps on a blimp. Alex Stein is, is not here, but that doesn't mean that I'm not cool. We're gonna be, we're gonna be learning from Aaron and April like it's cool. We're gonna be so fucking cool today. We've got Michael Ray's auction, and we're gonna be checking in on him. Mental health, he's taking it on the chin. And any lady is a lot of chin. He knows that he is really fat. Back to Steel Toe and April, cause you know Minnesota where it's at. It's time for, it's time for, it's time for Booby and the strip. It's time for, it's time for. It's time for movie and his friend who gotta be come glasses. They're gonna be resting on her face and she will snap at movie. Then he's gonna put her in her place. We know that he is racist and sexist. Yes, it all is true. And he's gonna fill her up like she is some overweight canoe. And he's gonna have so much. Good. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, that wasn't a great one. <laughs> Hello. Hello, everybody. You are also very pretty. And April has on her gum glasses. You deserve it. Good night. Hi. With a couple of cripples. Yeah. Am I right, everybody? Yeah. What? April's here. We were sick a couple days. It's a two day old joke. Sorry. The time has passed. I don't refresh my shit. It's the Steel Toe Morning Show. I'm Aaron. That's April. Good morning. Johnny would be here, but he asked for way too much money. Um, it, look, is he more talented? Sure. Is he funnier? Sure. I is he is he better looking? Of course. <laughs> but uh, wow. you know we you know I I run a business here, and I I can't be held at gunpoint, figuratively speaking. So sometimes what you do in life. Is if the really, really hot girl is being bitchy and unattainable, you go Whoa. with the one that's more attainable and fun. More Bonin, five oh, gifted memberships. Look at this. 20 Love gifted it. memberships this morning already from these fucking amazing oh, the people. One. 
Yeah, right. So yeah. I'm attainable. And vaping Dago? Holy it. shit. Holy shit. Hold on. This is more important than Steel Toe. This is more important than Steel Toe. So we have Vaping Dago, five memberships. Bone and Carbarian, five memberships. Let's go. Brandon gifted five memberships. Spaghetti Tooth John gifted five memberships. Serial Killer gifted five memberships. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We're doing it. We're doing it. This deserves a... Uh, what the kids call a bit of the old Wawa summer, huh? Wawa hoagie fest, it's classic summer. It's classic summer. It's classic summer. It's classic summer at the Wawa Hoagie Fest. It's classic summer. It's classic summer. Wow, it's classic summer. It's classic summer. Wawa Hoagie Fest. It's classic summer. <laughs> okay. I can't do any more harmony. Um, Somebody else just gifted five. G okay. We've got enough members now. No more members. Lock the doors. <laughs> That's an annoying noise to keep making over and over. The real Joe, the real John Doe gifted five memberships. Look at this. If everyone in the chat just gives five memberships, <laughs> we'll be there in no time. Am I right? How do you gift a membership? I don't even know what you're saying half the time, but here I am. Look, that's okay. We need all kinds of different levels of retard hanging out with us here at the Nobody Likes Onions program. And uh, we don't begrudge anybody not understanding how it all works because I barely understand how it all You know, Chad really doesn't understand how it all works. If I have to watch Chad one more time try to tell people to go, hey, gift a friend a membership. Gift a loved one a membership. It's like you can't pick who gets a membership, Chad. Jesus fucking Christ. You know, you're not you can't use this excuse for the rest of your life that you're new to YouTube. Figure it out. Between Shuli every day explaining to people in detail how to turn on gifted memberships and Chad telling you to give one to your aunt cuz you love her. I can't even with these people. Also, like, imagine giving a membership to Chad's whatever. I don't even know what it is. Patreon? Mem YouTube? Uh, imagine giving someone a... Imagine giving an unsolicited, <laughs> normal civilian person a gift to Chad's Patreon. Just a normal. They're like... Oh, okay. This is a membership to to a premium podcaster service. Okay, and then never having heard of Chad before, never having heard of you know they like regular podcasts. They log on to Chad's Patreon, and it's him calling Chrissy Mayer a cuck and Melton a a grifting. Th you know what I mean? Like, imagine turning on Chad for your grandma. Your aunt, your gas station attendant, your life coach. Oh, Chad is your life coach. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. It's so, it's too much. It's too much. Um. Okay, so people are, okay, turn off the memberships. I'll turn them down. I'll turn them down. You don't have to hear the noise. I can't. It's too late with the emotes. They're happening. We're having it. It's it's occurring. It's occurring. Let it wash over you. I'm not going to get mad at people gifting memberships when I'm trying to hit a goal. We got a goal over here. I love it when I come in in the morning and there's 9,000 uh, AI voice things loaded up in the morning. It's a classic summer. Wednesday and Patrick is here to help you over the hump. And you've picked an excellent show to not miss because this one has some twists and turns you can't even begin to believe. 
Ray DeVito hash let the Bud Light ray into his brain if he thinks he knows his labia from his laptop. Michael Ray Bauer gives a very long and sad auction update. Patrick gets a job interview at Facebook. Little Lemmy is letting her steel toe mod power trip flare up again as Aaron cannot seem to reach 10,000 subscribers to save his pathetic ass life. Get out of my gay dad. That is a perfect description of today's show. Because I wrote it. I mean, I'm serious. Steel toe is, is on the precipice of reaching... 10,000 subscribers. And again, what a big feat. What a big feat. Moody makes a great point. Buy membership on your own time. Don't do it during the show. We don't have we don't have the resources over here. We don't have the resources to be gifting memberships all show long. So just cool it everybody. <laughs> oh shit. Um, yeah, so he's trying to hit 10,000 subs. He's been 30 off for a week now. And, uh, everybody over on the Steel Toe Boring Show subreddit, which we have a couple clips from today, between Soft Weekly and the Toucan Sambo guy, I mean, they, I don't know what Steel Toe did to these two men. I assume they're men. You know, but... These guys aren't letting you. People think I'm tough on steel toe or Chad's tough on steel toe. First of all, Chad's, you know, a Chattanooga choo choo, just blowing hot air. But we haven't done shit to steel toe. This soft weekly guy and and uh, Toucan Sambo, these guys make nine clips a day ripping steel toe apart. That's why if anybody has that clip of. Uh, steel to melting down about the numbers send it in i i saw it yesterday i should have grabbed it um and look at this fatty melt in my inbox with it oh my god this guy is on quite a redemption arc with me um yeah let's watch it let's see what happens here we gotta go back we gotta unmute it i bet he has it's i've heard the under it i could call gino and ask if he's heard of it i bet he has it's, no, an, Ita it's an italian it's an italian answer you again no. is did something happen oh wait this is the gino clip what do you mean every time you call this is the wrong this is a different one that i i wanted to go over it's basically april cucking yeah that's the wrong clip fatty melt he sent me the wrong clip Fatty Melt said that this is the clip of uh, him melting down about 10K, but this is about Gino not picking up. So, incorrect. Incorrect. Uh, but Josh Galloway sent it. Hold on. Galloway fam. Better than Fatty Melt. <laughs> All right, let me paste this in. Let's see if this is the one. Existed. So let's yeah this is it okay here we go watch this watch this meltdown existed gone existed okay existed so let's get to 10k then i can stop thinking about it and it will be over uh, i'm sure nobody's going to clip that later and use that for their own like personal I, masturbatory thing. it's done it's over i don't care I don't care. None of them ever got, I mean, I've saved so many other people's channels by just existing and you're welcome that all I want is 10 K for mine. And look, if you do that fucking thing where you unsub because I'm trying to get to 10 K, I do fucking hate you. I'm going to tell you that right now. Wow. I, fucking hate you. I don't like you because I want to get to that 10. It's not a bit. It's not a funny bit, the 10K thing. <laughs> I need to get there for my own autism. So subscribe to the fucking channel. Quit fucking around. Let's get to that 10K. We're now 30 away because you guys are fucking assholes. Let's get to that fucking 10K. <laughs> and existed. So. So he was 25 away at the beginning of the show. And now this. This Reddit, the Steel Toe Boring Show Reddit, they're all getting together. Even though they subscribe to Aaron, they like to watch Aaron make a fool of himself every day. They're all collectively unsubscribing from Steel Toe, as I encourage you to do. That's fucking hilarious. 
Because and by the way, take your subscription on over to NLO Clips channel and follow us there. But I you know, I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> like, look, I understand when you're getting close to a number, like you want to hit that number. But it's the same thing as with Aaron and his fucking goal. The more the more you keep pointing at this shining star you're trying to attain to the more it becomes painstakingly obvious that you can't reach it and don't get me wrong he will reach 10,000 I I imagine this week I thought he'd do it last week but now people he's he's cultivated such hate in the space that he has people actively working against him to bring that number down and he has been trying for a week to get 30 fucking views, 30 fucking subscribers. And he's getting mad about it. It's not a bit. I do fucking hate you if you're unsubscribed. It's like, wow. I mean, it is pretty funny of a bit. It is kind of a funny bit. But if you just turned your head and did your show, you'd be there before you know it. And then just celebrate that milestone. I can't even like, I remember like we were like, oh, we hit 8,000 a few weeks back. And and then I've turned my head and not paid attention. I just looked today when I was, I, I you know, I don't track subs. 8,500. We're over 8,500. I didn't even know. We, we got 500. I didn't even think about it. Just keep your head down and do your show. You'll get 30 in no time. But because you're putting all this energy around it, people are actively working to keep you from it. It's pretty funny. It's pretty funny to me. I think it's a good bit. <laughs> I think it's a funny bit. He disagrees. But I, the guy takes himself so fucking seriously. I'm a real broadcaster. I've saved all these shows. All these channels owe me. I'm not a numbers guy. Again, the literal calculator was out the literal calculator was out people are saying we're closing in on him i i don't even patrick last night he said he is a 10k channel because he treats it like football once you pass the goal you're in i mean that's fine he is a 10k channel that's the thing is like no one's gonna take it away from him because he's at nine point nine seven or whatever like you know what i mean it's 10k everyone else everyone else would be happy and and not him not him uh, we're creeping up on two thousand subs gained on this channel since i started talking about steel toe that's amazing i'm not having a cake made So I find it all very, very funny, and um, we're going to keep uh, – <laughs> hold on. What is this? I'm trying to see if we missed a uh, a voice chat. No, I don't think so. Oh, fuck. Ouch, ouch, ouch. My goddamn toe, ouchie. I think I broke my toe. Uh, um, uh. I'm going to go to the gym and do toe curls anyway. I don't give uh, uh, shit or anything like that. I'm tough. I once sat upon the lap of Andre the Giant. I once sat in the shadow of William Strange. Oh, my God, Ray. You are so stupid. Do you even have friends? I have a lot of them. I have their phone numbers. We talk. We're doing it. To yeah. How are you? doing you? let's prepare for the cringe that is butch bradley in court somebody um uh clip some things of ray these are great observations and we're diving into ray and by the way ray apparently on uh mlc yesterday puffing up and running his mouth a little bit about me but the thing you don't understand ray and I need you to really understand this and maybe clip this, get this to Ray. But Ray needs to really dial in on this one, this one piece of the puzzle that I think you're missing, Ray. You're fucking retarded and I'm way smarter than you. So shut the fuck up. 
Shut the fuck up. You're dumb. You're so dumb and don't even know it. So knock it off when you're like, I don't understand why Melton does this. That's right. You don't. Stop wearing your pretty little head about it. You are dumb. You know, I can't. Chad stream sniping Ray is like the lowest of the low. It's like picking on a retard. And again, I've I've already proclaimed like peace with Ray. I don't hold anything against Ray. But now out of nowhere, he's running around puffing up his mouth. It's like, Ray, you're dumb and, and are not qualified to make comparisons and draw conclusions. You're not smart enough to do that. You know, Melton was on a show talking shit about me saying that I had an NBA program and I didn't get in and I, now I have to pay it back. Someone said that in the chat. I read it and said, I don't know if that's true. I've never heard of the JP Morgan MBA program, but that's what someone is saying. And I don't run with it and say that it's true. I say that I read this and this is what's going around. I don't know if it's true. And then Ray wants to conflate that and say, it's the same thing I did. You know, someone in my chat told me the video was true. And I was just like, oh, wow, cool. I didn't know that. No, that's not what you did, you dumb fuck. You didn't go, oh, cool. I didn't, no, I wasn't aware of that. You then ran around to multiple shows screaming that I was a liar. So that's not the same thing at all, you dumb sack of Ohio shit. Okay? Once again, don't try to do these things in your head where like, I do the same thing as Melton. Why is he so mad? You don't. You don't. You're so dumb, you gaslight yourself, and you don't even know what the fuck you did. You don't even know why I'm mad. You run around on your show going like, Melton's mad because I didn't know whether the video was real or not. That ain't it. You're dumb. You're dumb as fuck. You were misremembering, and you're gaslighting yourself about what you did. What you did was run around calling me a liar. You stupid Ohio sack of dirt. Fuck. Fuck. I, you know, again, picking on Ray is like the lowest of the low. But shut your fucking mouth. Just shut your fucking mouth. You know nothing about anything. You are dumb as fuck. Stevie Lou posted a, a, a clip of you trying to sing MGMT by the, by, by, uh, 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 uh sorry, uh, what, what's that song by MGMT? Fuck it, I can't even remember it now. Dun, 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 dun. Remember that? Ray trying to sing it. Uh, 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 uh. It's like, what? You're too dumb. Don't try things anymore. Fuck. Fuck, it hurts. It hurts Ray trying to explain why he's not guilty of something. Because, he, he, like, Jesus. Teamster Tim is cracking up in the chat. But you know I'm right. You know I'm right. As a functional member of society with your own place to live, Teamster Tim, how many times have you had this discussion with him about something over and over and over again? God, Ray, I want to like you. Every time you make it hard, no one's even talking about Ray and you're running around. I did the same thing as Melton. Why is he so mad? No, you didn't, you fuck. No, you didn't. You ran around calling me a liar. If you say you don't know J.P. Morgan for your MBA and that's not true, I believe you. You should know more about your life than a random thing I read in a chat room or on Reddit. That's the difference between me and you. I don't run with something. I didn't say it was absolutely true. I said that's what someone said. I didn't run around then to nine shows and go, Ray owes for his student loans because he's too dumb. He got kicked out of a program. Although I bet you did. I bet you did. How would you even know? You're so fucking thick. How would you even remember getting kicked out of an NBA program? Jesus Christ. Hey, Ari Jane, run! Run, girl! Fucking hell. <laughs> you know, I mean, we're I'm sorry, but we're dealing with a not all there man, and, and I can't anymore. So listen to me. Listen to me. 
Don't step into the ring anymore. Uh, uh, Ray, knock it the fuck off. Is Carlos Danger here? I just, every time I do this, I imagine Carlos Danger being angry. But, I, you know, even Carlos Danger is getting close to tapping out. I saw him the other day do, do a nonverbal sigh. And I, every, his eyes said everything. And I was like, oh, boy. You're wearing thin on Carlos Danger, who is a saint by all admissions, you know. So, I, I, I don't know, man. But the more and more you keep drawing attention to yourself, the more and more it becomes clear that you're functionally retarded. Here's the Hackiverse Anonymous video they made where Ray can't finish reading a chat. Now, you guys put up a super chat. It gets read and then responded to. That's, how, that's the agreement. Ray, this is, by the way, every comedian should have this skill built in. Every comedian, this is like a natural skill. A heckler in the crowd yells something out. You hear it as the comedian, but the rest of the crowd doesn't hear it. And you have a killer line to deliver to bury that heckler. Well, you could deliver that line and bury the heckler, but it's not going to have the same reaction as if you repeat what the heckler said to you, then bury the line. You know what I mean? You got, somebody comes at you with like, your mom's so fat. If you just yell back at them, well, your mom's so fat, da 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 Now it just seems like you're being mean. They yell at you, your mom's so fat, da 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 You go, my mom's so fat, da 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 Well, your mom's so fat, da 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 That's how you do it as a fucking performer from a stage. You have to reflect what the heckler said to you back to the crowd so we're all caught up and on the same page before you deliver a line back. It's the same with Super Chats. You're supposed to read the Super Chat and then respond. Well, Hackverse Anonymous made this video that pretty much outs Ray. And I'm sorry for the aspect ratio. I can't even imagine what kind of video editor would do this to us. Watch this. Ray never finishes reading a chat. Somebody picked up on this. Ray, please get again. I would. I'm not at my place. I'm at my buddy's hand. So if he trails off every time he reads something. He never. There's some coming up that are four words. He doesn't even finish reading them. Each hand, I come here for the chin, and I stay over there. It's not beautiful singing. I'm horrible. By the way, I no. Um, what is ski mask steel? I don't get it. Square headed. Oh, you don't like him. I, I don't dislike I like So he thinks it's for him. Ray thinks it's all for him. He doesn't he doesn't even consider the fact that he's putting on a show or that he has an audience. Like it's just Ray in his room with a beer by himself. Fuck you. <laughs> like ski mask. He's all right. Airy Jane. How are you, Airy Jane? Your hair looks up. Well, thank you, Airy. See, your hair looks lovely. He can't even he can't finish reading one comment. Ray, sorry, can, I'm not even hammered. I'm teasing Ray. Going I'm I'm gonna stop by there. Uh you are the biggest amateur. Yeah, I don't take this serious. But yeah, I'm I'm done. You know, by the way, him and Chad doing this same thing. We're not even taking this serious. We're not even taking this serious. It's like yeah, that's why you're not good at it. It's why you're not good at it. I have a stack of shit. I've prepared three hours for today's show. When it is amazing, and it will be, I'll be reading the comments later. You're going to love today's show. When it is amazing, don't sit there, everybody, and go, wow, Melton's so great. How does he do it? He tries. He tries. I don't come in here. Crack open a Bud Light and go, I don't want to take it too seriously. I do. I do. This is my job for all, you know, the teasing I get about not doing stand-up and not being a real comic. Ah. Holy shit. I don't take this seriously. What an excuse to perpetually fail. What an excuse to, to never do anything. Cool. 
these guys are so out of it and unaware. You know, Chad's like on the same train. Chad yesterday, I'm not shitting you, and we're not going to, this isn't a big Chad show. Chad yesterday, I'm not shitting, is now giving out t-shirts randomly to members. <laughs> Doing a drawing to give out things randomly to members? Sound familiar? This guy, Steel Toe. This guy has completely turned into Steel Toe. He's hype training for money and doing drawings for members. What the fuck? What the fuck? I'd love you to become a member of the channel. It's $1.99. When we go private a little later on today's show, it's $1.99. Come on board. Could I win a t-shirt? No! No, you can't. We sell t-shirts over here in the store. Go buy one. Win a t-shirt? That's for fucking idiots who can't get you to sign up because they don't have content. You know what you get for the one ninety nine? Content! Yeah, of course Chad has to promise you a t-shirt if you sign up for membership. Because you're not really getting a lot with the membership. You know what I mean? Same reason the bank gives you a lollipop. They're fucking you while you're not looking. <laughs> you feel like you got something. Ooh. <laughs> so holy shit. Drawings? Drawings for your members? You're doing it, Chad. You're doing it. An old lip licker ray over here. This is insane. <laughs> Let's do it. No pro <laughs> What scheme ass? He just reads two words and starts laughing. What if you were listening to audio? Of this it'd be undoable, undoable. That's not even a. Only has fifteen. I didn't even know he's going live or whatever. I. The Sonics talk infuriates me. Thanks for signing up, Clubfoot Carl. Should never left town. We had KD higher. Yeah, I hear you, dude. Get some sleep. Jesus, Steve C. Um. I just snorted some Kepra and I got my court. All right. Put EG on. <laughs> Send Ariel. I don't think Ariel. It's <laughs> next time a finals game. I don't mind. In the future, little mirror, I don't care. You ain't going nowhere, Ray. We're going. EGN, watch out, Ari Jane. Jake Hudson is a future. All right. Jake Hudson's not. Jake Hudson's a nice guy. <laughs> I can't. I can't. So that was pretty funny. And then uh, somebody grabbed this one too, which is great, which is where Ray admits to dyeing his hair. Now, I never really thought about it. As a man who's blessed with a very slow graying head of hair, you know, don't get me wrong, they're starting to come in, but at 43 to have a full, lustrous head of hair that is mostly brown. Again, I don't know, know how many strands per hundred are gray, maybe one. I don't even know how you begin to measure that. Nowhere even near salt and pepper. I have more gray in my beard than I have in my head. And... Ray's talking about dyeing his hair. I, don't do this, men. Don't start on this track. You'll never get off it. This is like the women with the Botox and the fillers and the... Don't, just don't do it. Why start, why start down that road? You'll never get off. First of all, you're going to wreck your body, ladies. Your whole face is going to get wrecked. And then you're going to have to constantly do all this work um, to keep it up when it's like, just let it go. So the fact that Ray is gray, completely gray at before 50 and dyeing his hair is a little bananas to me. When, uh, look, I'm going to tell you, women love gray hair. They do. I've told you this before. It's like, it's like they know, like you look at a man and it looks like they know a lot of things. Like it's like instant wisdom. But I don't know anything. I, right. <laughs> See, Ray picks up on like tiny fragments of conversation to fixate on. 
so who cares? Like who cares? Who cares? <laughs> She's like, let your hair be gray. Women like it. It makes it look like you know things. He's like, but I don't know things. But I dumb. So don't my hair match be dumb? But at least maybe if you look like it, you'll start being the part. Or something will happen. So this is classic, uh, you know, broken woman stuff where they try to turn a man into what they want him to be. Harry, you know, three failed marriages. Stop trying to make men into things you think that will be good for you. You can't make Ray into a good guy. <laughs> I mean, he's a good guy, I think, but like uh, Ray wants to dye his hair. I've been out of the loop. It's fun to hear this stuff without prior context. Oh, my God. Just wait. He does dye his hair. He's saying he does. He's saying every time he gets a haircut, he dyes his hair. I'm just telling you, I really think you should. And I'm a, it's coming from a woman. Here's what I do. When I get a haircut, I do color my hair. And then... Uh, I think you should quit. The reason? I'm not kidding you. This almost is like... Will make you tap out of Ray for life. Wait until you hear the reason he dyes his hair. You guys... I think you guys don't understand why he dyes his hair. You don't understand what it does when he dyes his hair. You got it all wrong. He dyes his hair. Why, Ray? Doing it because it slows down the grayness. But then, because it slows down the grayness. Oh no! <laughs> I dye my hair because it slows down the grayness. You're gonna like the way you look. Holy shit. No, it doesn't, Ray. No, it doesn't. It covers up the grayness. I dye my hair because it slows down the gray. What? Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. I can't. I can't. Look at it. Look. <laughs> He's like, look at it. Look how gray. Look at it. <laughs> now, Ari Jane is dying. <laughs> She's fucking dying. It's gray as shit. Right. Walk into the sea, Ray. Walk into the sea. Let it be gray. You're old. <laughs> You're fucking old. So I color it when I first get a haircut, and then it slows down the, um... She's dying. It slows down the gray. The grayness. It slows down the grayness. Watch her die laughing again. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> So it's it's like she's she's doubling over with laughter. I I mean I can't. Like, yeah. So I mean it comes in. When, uh, look, I'm gonna tell you, women love gray hair. They do. I've told you this before. It's like it's like they know. Like you look at a man and it looks like they know a lot of things. Like it's like instant wisdom. <laughs> but I don't know anything. I, so who like cares? It. Who cares? Like, but at least maybe if you look like it, you'll start being the part, or something will happen. I'm just telling you. If you look like you know something, you'll start playing the part or some maybe something will happen. What is this, Freaky Friday? Lightning's going to strike? Ray and a smart guy pee in a fountain together and switch brains? What's going to happen? What's going to happen, Ari? Maybe if you stop dyeing your hair, you'll start playing the part of an intelligent older man. Or maybe... Something will happen. <laughs> like, what? What's going to happen? What's going to happen? You both get a hold of an old mask that somehow, you know, infected with the, with the god of mischief and Loki infects your brain and now you're all charismatic and good with Cameron Diaz. What do you think is going to happen? I mean, this is wild. <laughs> this is crazy. So, 
Ray, when you say things like, but I don't know anything, remember that when you're pounding your chest. Remember that every time you're like yelling at Melton and why he's mad and you don't understand because he did the same thing as you. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. I don't know anything about your scholarship. I'm just repeating what was said in the chat, and I I envelope it in that context. Envelope? You know, I'm not running around saying that's what happened. I'm saying that's what people are saying happened. So, I, you know, I get the double curse. I get Ray running around saying that he didn't say what he said because he's dumb. And then I also get Ray running around saying I said something I didn't say because he's dumb. This is the curse of retarded people. This, this is my problem with all of it. He misinterprets what other people say. And then he, you know, also conflates what he says. So I, I, I don't even know what to do with Ray. I, I keep saying this. Like, I don't think it's malicious and I think he's well-intentioned. He's just dumb as fuck. But the, now he's like puffing up and flapping his fucking mouth. It's like, Ray, I, I, there's no discussion to be had. Figure out any part of your life and then we can talk about what I'm doing wrong. But again, it's like 50 first dates. It's like, you're not qualified to even jump in this discussion. You're not smart. You cannot remember what just happened, Ray. You you literally cannot stop doxing your friends and loved ones, Ray. Just announcing what factory Ari Jane works at. Live on a radio show. It's it's maddening. After doing it to to Carlos Danger a couple weeks ago, it's just like, hello. Don't ever wag your finger at anybody else. Don't ever wag your finger at anybody else. Enough. Uh, okay, we do got to move on. We got a lot of stuff today. Uh, quick update on this. I spent a lot of time yesterday down at the old courthouse picking up, I have in my possession, the transcripts of the court case between me and Butch Bradley. I posted up a screenshot of this. It's four pages each. Uh, each page is four pages of text. So this is very long. Uh, and my intention was to go over this and we may still go over this or share some portions of this. And my intention was, you know, when I was teasing all the big stuff this week, this is one of the things this unfortunately now will be placed on the back burner a little bit. The reason is great. I'm picking up the transcripts yesterday. And I ask, well, how do I get a copy of the audio? It was my intention to grab the audio because there were microphones in front of everybody and have that animated. I thought that would be great. We'll pick up the audio of the hearing, have it animated. Me and Butch, what a treat. And then she says these words to me that blow my mind. She says across the counter, do you want the video too? And I said, excuse me? She said, do you want the video of the hearing? And I said, there's video? And she said, yep. And I said, I almost came on the counter. We almost had to get a mop and a rag. I just started gush, geysering all over City Hall. Just spraying cum everywhere. <laughs> And I paid the $25 Freedom of Information Act fee. And she asked if I want that on DVD or thumb drive. This is a real question. And I said, what's a DVD? I was being funny. I just go, what's a DVD? And I swear to God, the woman went, I don't know. I swear to God, she said, I don't know. I was just being silly. And then, and then she didn't know. So I said, thumb drive will be great. So I'm picking this up next week, I hope. We will have video of me and Butch Bradley in the hearing. This is better than reading this transcript, which we may still scan and put up for overdose members or something. The video 
the video? Are you fucking kidding me? So next week, hopefully, Lord willing and the creek don't rise, video of Butch Bradley acting like a spaz. And if you read the one little bit I randomly opened up to and took a photo of, the whole thing is like that. He looks like that the whole thing. I can't, uh, what am I, uh, the thing, his podcast, he just goes on and on. He just, that's the whole hearing. It's just a man who doesn't understand what's happening to him trying to make a judge tell another man to stop talking. <laughs> so that's coming. That's, uh, I'm excited about it. And I think it's going to be worth the wait. So don't worry about it. Look, it is going to. It is going to change this week a little bit because we're not, I'm not going to even bother. Like, why go over the transcripts? Then the video is going to be anticlimactic. We're going to watch the video. We're going to watch the video. Um, I don't know how long the hearing was, an hour and a half. I know we took the 10-minute recess so that Butch could go out and get video evidence compiled against me. So we'll, we'll, we'll edit out all the dead spots or whatever, but there's so much gold in it. We'll be bringing the video in. We'll be watching the video. It's going to be, I, I mean, bring some popcorn on that day. I, I imagine one day next week. That's what I'm hoping. Uh, one day next week. I read this email yesterday. Sorry. A lot of housekeeping to do in here. Um, so, yeah, that's where we're at um, with that. I'm very excited. Video. There's video. You know, not that I think I'm going to look great from an aerial shot from a camera. DK, five gifted memberships. What a nice man. What a nice boy. Um, Just real quick, apropos of nothing. I got an email yesterday from uh, Meta, the company. You might know them as the Facebook company. And the email says, hi, Patrick, we received, uh, we're excited to have you visit our offices. Here's what you need to know to prepare for your visit. This is a real email from the Meta Corporation. I wish I was kidding about this, but this is really in my inbox yesterday morning. General, don't forget your government ID to check in. Stay with your host at all times. Be aware of your surroundings, ceiling heights, tripping hazards, and uh, closed, -toe show sh closed toe shoes should be worn while on site. All photos inside Facebook must be pre-approved. No weapons of any kind are allowed on site. In the event of an emergency, please stay calm and follow the instructions of your host. Your host has been your host has completed mandatory emergency training and will guide you to safety and it's from um it's june 20th at 8 a.m so this is yesterday morning when you arrive in the lobby use the touch screens to check in with your reservation number 711008 and then it says uh meta requires all visitors to sign an nda please click through below to sign it before so someone's clearly emailed me a thing to go visit Meta yesterday on their campus. And I clicked the NDA just out of curiosity. I want to know. Um, oh, fuck. This was working earlier. And now they voided it. The NDA. Because the NDA was interesting, and I wanted people to see it, but now it's completely gone. Wow. Okay. I really thought, well, there goes a whole segment, and that was the big one for today's show. That was the big nut for today's show. Um, I thought, I honestly, it's, what is it, 440? I thought we'd be at like 6.45 by now. And we could wrap up. That was going to be like the big moment of the show. Me getting hired at Facebook. 
but now I I don't really have any. Patrick's cringe content. What is that? Is this on one of, is this overdose? This is on one of his podcasts where he OGs this on. This is the court and document. I, I mean, I know you, uh, I don't want you to be frustrated with me, but the misunderstanding that I have of this, that that you're having of this is a creation by this gentleman that I don't quite understand. That is, he, this is just everything he continuously does. These are him ranting aimlessly online, going on and on and on and on for years. He decided to squeeze my life. He really wrote, he really said all that stuff in court. He's ranting online for years and years. He's squeezing my life. He's squeezing my life. Uh, okay, let's get this. I got three more steel toe clips that I think we got to go over today. And then we got Michael Ray Bauer doing auction stuff. And uh, if there's time, we have um, Casey Armstrong. I'm kidding about that being our big bit today. Don't worry about it. I'm telling you, again, I wish... I was you. I wish you knew what was coming up in today's show. Stick with me. Ride it out with me. Woo, baby. Come on. We're going to have fun. We have fun. Now available wherever your comedies are streaming. Am I right, everybody? Come on. This is a uh, uh, steel toe. Morning show. No, you're good. Uh, let me says, was that Patrick Melton's twin sister? Oh, now see, now that, that, that that's bullying. That's body shaming. Why would we? It clearly. How could you do that to her? It, <laughs> I mean, you see his hunched shoulders and his giant gut and his kind of neck beard, lack of confidence pose, and his. In Hold on. Okay, this is my hunched shoulders. You, I want to just refute this right away. No one ever sees my giant gut. No one ever sees my giant gut. And Aaron, if you have seen my giant gut or you find a photo of my giant gut or you post a photo of my giant gut, if anyone comes up with an image of my giant gut, there will be a lawsuit. Inability to handle criticism. You think that's going to help him in his journey? Stop it. He thinks the internet is real. You stop that, Lemmy. You're going to make a grown man cry again. How could you disparage her like that? She can sit up straight, goddammit. Nobody likes onions, right? It's not my sister. It's me and drag. Oh, man. Why would you? That doesn't even make sense. My audience handles my light work. Okay. So, again, Aaron's, you know, writing off. First of all, he usually doesn't even say my name or the show's name, so I find that to be a little bit of progress for Aaron. Uh, but the, the part about, so I guess little Lemmy for people who don't know, little Lemmy is a mod in his chat room who went mentally ill, realized she was going mentally ill, had to step down from being a mod in a chat room, make a post on Twitter that she was stepping away from the internet to get a grip on her life. And then literally 48 hours later was online streaming, gaming, and back with Aaron modding things. These are the most broken, dangerous people in our society. From what I understand, she fucks a man named Granny who spends most of his time shirtless, like salad fingers, just skirting around dark portions of the web. And... Again, I, I, you'll never find a post online. My sister does this all the time, and I hate to talk ill of my family, but this is what mentally ill people do. They're constantly announcing that they have to take breaks from the Internet and breaks from social media. If anybody wonders, I won't be on Facebook this month. I'm taking a break. It's like, why do you have to take a break? Why do you have to take a break? I never take breaks. I never step away from the Internet and go, I have to... Get it together. You know why? Because I don't think the internet's real. Because I'm not tethered to it as if my existence is dependent on it. 
So it's very funny for like Lemmy to be in a chat room clowning on people, thinking the internet's too real. Again, you know, I don't know her. She's always been kind. I, 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 you know, this attack on me is unfounded. And the remark about my gut is frankly below the belt because my gut, that's where my gut hangs. But when someone has had multiple instances of announcing to the internet that they're, they need to get like, she, I think she said something like I need to reevaluate my life or how much time I'm spending on the way. It's like, you know what I mean? I don't ever have to do that. I never have to do that. And by the way, even if I did, I wouldn't have to go online to announce it. Tell me you're broken without telling me you're broken. Literally, like you're using the internet to tell people that you have to get off the internet because you're too addicted to the internet. Get off the internet. Just get off the net. I know this is going to blow your mind, but no one is going to be going, where's little Lemmy? Anybody seen little Lemmy lately? No one. No one. But this is par for the course. I mean, everything he does is projection. Everything he does can't take criticism. No one's on my block list. No one's on my block list. Chad's blocked. Nobody likes onions is blocked. I mean, he'll block everybody who says anything to him. He'll block anybody who points out anything to him. Him and April private their social media so nobody can see in it. Their chat room, everybody's blocked. Words are banned. You know, you can't say Ashley. You can't say Onion. Like, it's insane to then tell other people that they think the internet's real, <laughs> to tell other people that they need to take a break. Get real. And Lil Lemmy, again, no offense, but how's this going to go, you stupid bitch? How's this going to go? The same way it did last time? Where we start pointing at your life and, and pointing out that you're just a mod for a shitty cornball Midwestern show, and then you have to take a break for your life, for your mental health again? That's how this goes again, idiot. You don't have superpowers. That wrench doesn't work outside of that bubble over there. You're not a mod for the world. No one gives a shit. So you and granny pack up your fucking hobo stick and bindle and beat it, bitch. No one cares. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I, it, Ray and little Lemmy telling everybody that they don't know what they're doing. It's like, okay, okay. You guys make Chad look talented. You know what I mean? Come on. Whenever I'm carrying beers for my friends, I like to spill a little while I'm carrying it. You want to know why? Because it slows down the tray. Also, whenever I'm in church and just before the priest says, amen, I like to yell at the top of my lungs like this. Uh, F -E. <laughs> oh, want to know why? Because it slows down the prayer. Jesus Christ. It slows down the gray. I mean, the prosecution rests, you know? I don't even know why I bother anymore. It's a Wawa summer. Because all I hear from motherfuckers is, wah, wah! Uh, in the continuing saga of what will only be known from this day forward as the divorce tapes, the evidence that the relationship between movie and the scrimp is deteriorating is piling up and yesterday on the show apparently april another stellar little moment where april corrects movie or cucks movie live let's not forget we're less than two months out from steel toes big anniversary show which is sure to see nine people show up to watch Gino and a comedian renowned the world over named Canoe uh, perform inside of a house turned into a bar in Rockland, Minnesota or something. Anyway, we're two months out 
And April reveal, reveals on the show yesterday that Gino Bisconte, the headliner for their upcoming event, doesn't take Aaron's calls. This is the problem with this universe, honestly, with planning events so far in advance. The relationships deteriorate. People's lives in this community aren't stable enough to plan an event. You know, imagine if we had done this misery con Vegas thing with Chad and Bob. and Like, how much has changed in the past month? How much will be changed by August? Who fucking knows? And by the way, in the P.O. box yesterday, I did get from... Uh, from the fan who can identify himself if he wants a gift card for our MGM uh, resorts for a thousand dollars. I and I'll be using that to get the rooms at the Borgata. And I can't thank you know that's a thousand dollars. Whoo! So thankful for that. I'll be there. And I'll be doing podcasts from there, by the way. You know, I, I don't know if anybody else is going to be doing podcasts. I'll be in the Borgata doing podcasts. So everybody can come up to my hotel room. We'll all strip down to our SpongeBob square pants. And we're going to do whole podcasts in my shower. Me, Teamster Tim, Stevie Lou, Ray. We're all going to be in the shower, all of us podcasting. That's where the best acoustics are. Can everyone buy 10 tickets to the Steel Toe Anniversary Show and not go? It's only $370. Kevin is never showing up to AC, and Bob will go home uh, after dinner the first night. Stevie Lou is in here defending his idol. Yeah, I mean, look. It, look. Look. Shuli is starting to turn on Steel Toe. He knows. Burn that hoodie, Shuli. Or send it to Nobody Likes Onions and we'll burn it. <laughs> Shuli wouldn't be caught dead in that hoodie now. Okay? Carlos Danger just said he's going. It doesn't matter if Kevin goes. We'll have fun without him. We don't need Kevin. We'll have fun without him. It's probably better without Brennan. <laughs> um, yeah, so Gino, the hero headliner of the upcoming Steel Toe meeting uh, row, is apparently not taking Aaron's calls, and April continues to out things like this, like about his dick, about how he can't fuck. You know, she fondly remembers that one night he fucked and misled her because he was on Blue Chew. Just constant little arguments. The cum glasses, just regular glasses. You're starting to see the cracks in their marriage. It's what I said from the very beginning. It's what I continue to say about every one of these podcasts that thinks they're going to, we're going to be the ones that do it. Husband and wife, boyfriend and girlfriend. You're not. It will go like this. That BS show with the with the husband and wife. Watch. It will go like this if it keeps going. It just turns resentful. It does. There's no it's just human nature. You can't even stop it. Their their marriage will fall apart on air. Watch it happen. Oh, come on. The one under it. I could call Gino and ask if he's heard of it. I bet he has. It's, no, an, I, Itali it's an Italian I bet he won't one. answer you. Yeah. Wow. So right off the bat, they're having fun in a moment, and April takes a shot. I'll call Gino and ask, and she just goes, I bet he won't answer you. I mean, that is just a spitting. I mean, literally, that's spitting on your husband in public. I bet he won't answer you. Whoo. And look at his face. He's like, shut up, bitch. Yeah. Is, did something happen? And she won't let it go. He tried to let it go. She won't let it go. What do you mean? Oh, no. Every time you call him, he won't answer. He doesn't. Every time you call Gino, 
He won't answer. Got him. Confirmed. Like me that much. He doesn't like me that much. If he's heard of it, I bet he has. It's, no, an, Ital- it's an Italian one. I bet he won't one. answer you again. No. Is, did something happen? What do you mean? Every time you call him, he won't answer. He doesn't like me that much. He doesn't dislike me. Doesn't like me enough to pick up during the show. All right. Fucking. She just goes like, she doesn't believe it. She just goes, all right. She's so sick of his shit. I mean, she has to listen and go along with so much of his lying bullshit. Guy. Drunk on cringe says gay F word. Is there a hetero F word? Yes. Fuck. What are we talking about? Yeah. That's how you differentiate. What are we talking about here? What are we talking about? (laughs) So just these little moments. Oh, no. We did it again. Guys, we holy shit. We have not had one super chat today. I just looked at that because it's up. Holy shit. I'm poor. This whole show makes me poor. Not one super chat today. I mean, I didn't even notice, but wow. When you put it up on the screen like that, really painful. Holy shit. 60 likes. Well, you know what? I didn't put anybody in charge of likes. Maury Memento, you brought it up. You're in charge of likes today. Maury Memento's in charge of likes. <laughs> but 43 new members, that's nothing to be, uh, that's nothing to shake a stick at because that's like $250 worth of membership. So thank you so much. And but that wasn't, hey, thank you, but that wasn't, you don't have to like, uh, <laughs> that wasn't saying the super chat. It wasn't saying the super chat. Flimsy Greenberg, I ain't poor. Uh, Shane M, $1. Okay, Kevin Barry, $1. Real John Doe, $2. All right, that wasn't the point. That wasn't the point. I just like, that's crazy. I didn't even notice. All right, knock it off. I'm not kidding. Like, it does, it's more interruptive than worth it. Okay, this is, can we? Now 7dub7 is gifting five memberships. This is going to interrupt the whole show for hours. For hours. All right, while these are scrolling. Oh, shit. Uh, luck of the bind, Luke of the bind. Am I super chatting? Right. I am poor. Thanks for joining up. (laughs) Oh God, this is going to be, this is going to be something. Okay. Jeff closer, slightly poor. I get it. I get it. The onions are taking over. Here come the blitz of $99 super jets. We might turn them off. We might do like Kevin and you have to do five or get the fuck out of here. Chris Bueller, $40. Relax. We know your grift. Oh, dear Lord. No super chats today. Fuck you. Fuck you. I didn't even notice until it was on my screen in front of me. Do you think I put that up on purpose? Do you think this is a good look for me? Showing up now. By the way, now there's $80. So congrats, everybody. You've really, you've really poured it in. (laughs) I may be a bit poor, says Ace. Look, I didn't mean to put that up there. It's that wasn't uh, a beg a begging thing. Um, today's about today is about giving back to you people. I promise, I promise. You're gonna love. By the time this show ends today, you will all be going. That's how you do a podcast. And I know I'm edging you hard. I know I'm, you guys are going like, what's he talking about? He's teasing a quite a big, you know, what could he possibly be even going on about? But don't worry about it. Bone in, muzzle of bees. We're doing it. Okay. All right. Everyone knock. Do you hear my voice? Do you hear this shit? Um, steel toe. Hit it. Hey, you dumb little cowgirl. Did you make the fluffy butternut bay biscuits yet? I'm hangry from boxing children. And you also forgot to turn off the computers last night. Eat my ass, you shock jock wannabe. I've been hitting up Gino to get in on Compound Media, and they hired me. I'll be an independent woman on the Simpcast, but get this, dummy. They are changing Simpcast to Scrimpcast. It's a classic summer. It's a classic summer. It's a classic summer. The Compound Media Scrimp Fest. It's a classic motherfucking summer. 
Uh, all right, knock it off, everybody, please. Detroit by Dark, Ace, Bone and the Carbarian. We get it. We get it. And Fearless, thank you all. Jesus Christ. That wasn't that wasn't the point. It was just, I, I'd i have to, Grift winner of the day, Patrick Mel. I, I have to acknowledge it. If I put it up on the screen by accident and I don't acknowledge that I know I've earned no money today, you know, Chad will be like, look, he didn't even get $1 in Super Chats. And it's like, yeah, correct. You know, I didn't even notice, by the way. Steel Toe would have already yelled nine times about not reaching the goal. I didn't even notice. I don't care. Okay, so, but when it's up on the screen and, and shoved in you people's face, I got to acknowledge it or I look like a bitch. I don't want you to think I don't know that I'm poor. If that makes any sense. Two more Steel Toe uh, clips. These are courtesy of the Steel Toe Boring Show Reddit. I think Toucan Sambo and uh, Soft Weekly. Conf this is says confirmed. Damned if he does and damned if he doesn't. Aaron misses the goal big time without dumb girl April's help to lure in the simps with her A cups and large head. Uh yeah, this one's a this one, he's missed the goal a lot this week. He's missed the goal quite a bit uh this week. Daniel C says, This is a bad look for you, uh, fat boy. No, it's not. I just made a hundred dollars in seven minutes. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool look. You know, I don't know what you do, but that's pretty cool. I think it's a great look for me. I think it's like a power position. If we're honest, I look like a boss. I could take this whole, you know, at least 17 people out for um, egg McMuffins. No better example of Aaron being a, a Lun. Then Corey, then the Corey thing where Aaron spun him into controlling you. Yeah, that was crazy. Melton can get a wet steak and a carton of Newports with this super chat money. How much is a carton of cigarettes these days, by the way? That's a good, I, I'd be really actually curious in knowing that. I don't know what a carton of cigarettes even goes for anymore. <laughs> Doable. It's getting closer and closer. I think you guys can do it. He's literally got the Mike Lindell, my pillow guy cut out there. That's crazy. Who even owns one of those? I think you got us here. Keep it going. Everybody throw in a little bit. 120 bucks. Everybody throw in a little bit. I think we've got it. The way Streamlabs, PayPal, Super Chats, Triple N says 2.6% hype train. Yes. Absolute 2.6%. Remember, that's the number of people who financially support Steel Toe. 2.6%. Absolutely. JJ, uh, JJ Lynn says the chat's, a chat's absolutely killing me on my birthday, and you're not doing so bad yourself, Aaron. Thank you very much. Rise Darth Jello with 10 bucks says, can we get a short a short of laryngitis? April uh, Ace a little says, first you stole Chad's merch, Maybe then you stole his job, and now his grift. Oh, no. Guys, back. save some money for One Chad today. And two minutes. Support oh, Chad. Go. Sign up for his membership. Says, you like definitely won't one get one harassed. One Give him your address. That's what I, I don't know why you wouldn't trust him. Been listening to this show. How a pack is 13 in Connecticut. I mean, when I lived in New York six years ago, packs were 15 bucks in Manhattan. An honest carnival barker. That's what I am. All right, 115 away from knocking it out. There's the links in the chat. Become part of the 2.6 percenters. Kaya Mall with five bucks. 110 away from hitting tonight. Bria says e-begging at its best. Nobody is better at me than me at the e-begging. Nobody. I'm the best in the business at it. All right, guys. 110 away. You can do the rest of it. Everybody jump in. Everybody. We got about one minute left. One minute on the clock. Can we do it? Had a nice little rally there. Let's keep it moving. Come on. 110 away. If we get inside of 50, we got a shot. 105 away from knocking it out. 2.6 percenters. Let's go. Let's go, says Tim. 
Hey, if you Let's like, go indeed. If you like my Formal hat while he's grifting, why don't you go pick up your own, Away huh? From hitting. How much time we got? Last we got about chance. Thirty seconds. 30 seconds to go. 105 away. I said at the beginning of the show, no April, no goal, but you guys got close enough where you kind of made me believers. We will see. 10 bucks coming in from one, two, skip to my Lou, and another buck from JJ. Says a little chain. He sounds insane with all the names. Five bucks from one, two, skip to my Lou. It just sounds like gay lingo. In the hat. Says one, two, skip to my Lou. 95, we're in the double digits. 95 bucks away. Can we get there? Zen Rhino says if you get it under 100, you should do this shows the on credit and trust oh, the here audience we go. to hit the. If you get it under 100, you should do overtime on credit, says Zen Rhino. Zen Rhino says if you get under 100, you should do it on credit. Goal. Well, we're under 100. We'll see what this rally brings in while I wrap it up. I'll make you a deal, Zen. I think if the audience gets it under 70, I think they're good for the rest of it. By the way, all this vamping is to give everybody more time to send in money. Okay, so if it's under 70. Now, in a second, I'm going to hit refresh. And if it's there when I hit refresh, he's drawing this out to give people time to get it in. If it's there... We'll do it on credit. Imagine, you know, being 70 out and doing it on credit. My, how the goalposts have moved around the Steel Toe Morning Show. From hitting goals to being within 50 of goals to now being within 70 of goals. It's just a totally different show. It's a totally different show now. And I would, I would do it on overtime. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to refresh everything. See, he's drawing it out. Just keep pushing it back. It also gives him time to think of imaginary donors to bring up. How are we doing on likes? Who's in charge of likes today? Maury Memento, how are we doing on likes? You know, G-Rob knocked it out of the park yesterday. Over 200 likes, G-Rob got us. So she may be our new permanent likes girl, but Maury, we'll see how he does from the Scottish Highlands. Give everybody a chance to do their last minute stuff. I'll hit refresh. And if it's under 70, by the time I'm done refreshing, I'll do the overtime. By the time I'm done refreshing, as if that takes any time at all. On credit. And we'll knock out the rest by the end of the program. What do you say? All right, here we go. Magnum DUI with five bucks says he's Father's Day racist because, you know, it's not racist, but if you don't involve single moms, then it's remarkably sexist. 90 bucks away. You guys asked for overtime on credit. I'm going to need you to meet me in the middle just a little bit. Otherwise, I can go uh, I can go take care of a, a sick April here. And uh, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Nine- Hold on. He, they're 90 bucks away, and he's still asking for more. It, the song's over. The, the, the fundraising is over. I need more or else I I'll, I could go take care of a sick April. Hey, for 20 bucks, I'll stay and neglect my sick wife. But if you guys can get it down to 70, I'll stay. 90 bucks away from the goal tonight is a lot closer than I thought we'd get. So 90 bucks away from the goal is a lot closer than I thought we'd get. I don't even understand. Like, so you thought you'd fail bigger? What's happening to Steel Toe? But I have no problem just cutting out. Oh, well, we didn't knock it out tonight. Go see if April's all right. Hold on. I, I got to go back for a second. No big deal. Uh, under 75, though. Magnum DUI with five bucks says he's Father's Day racist because, you know, it's not racist, but if you don't involve single moms, then it's remarkably sexist. 90 bucks away. You guys asked for overtime on credit. I'm going to need you to meet me in the middle just a little bit. Otherwise, I can go uh, I can go take care of a, a sick April here. And uh, I'll, I'll be honest with you. 90 bucks away from the goal tonight is a lot closer than I thought we'd get. So I'd have no problem just cutting out. Oh, well, we didn't knock it out tonight. Go see if April's all right. Hold on. I mean, I want you to really think about what he just said. 90 bucks is a lot closer than I thought we'd get tonight. I thought we'd fail bigger. 
So I have no problem just cutting out and going and checking on my wife. I mean, I, I'm not quite sure what's happening here. No big deal. Uh, under 75, though. I so now it's 75. It was 70. Now he wants 15 more dollars to not go take care of his wife. We're at 90. Give me 15 more and I'll stay and neglect her. Would say sure. But it doesn't look like we're going to get it this evening. Thank you, guys, though. It doesn't look like we're going to get it. It's like it ended two minutes ago. So he's now drawing out. Like, now he plays a five-minute song, and if he doesn't get it, he draws it out even fucking longer. I, I'm telling you this. I consider it a W. Of course. Imagine movie not considering something he did a win. Is there any scenario? I do. I see this as an absolute win. I <laughs> of course he does. Of course he does. When you tapped out of fighting Chad, you counted it as a win. Of course, this is a win. Everything's a win to Aaron. Did not see us getting this close this evening. So uh, now he's like, we got way closer than I thought we would get, so it's a win. So I'm going to leave. <laughs> like what? Uh, so save your money. Save it for tomorrow morning, because Johnny and I always have a tough time knocking it out on Tuesdays. We always have a real tough time knocking out that Tuesday morning goal. I don't know if you guys get sick of our- And the Tuesday evening, three weeks in a row. Our fat asses or what? And the Wednesday didn't get hit. But uh, save it. Drop it in tomorrow morning. Let's knock that. That's a more important one to knock out anyway. Uh, I'll write down the 90 in the corner here. Maybe we'll make it back later in the week. Sometimes that happens. Actually, every time that happens. I'll write down 90 in the corner- Maybe we'll make it back later in the week. Sometimes that happens. Actually, every time that happens. Did I say sometimes we hit our goal? What I meant to say was we always hit our goal. What I meant to say is we all, it always happens. We never get to the end of the week and don't have all the money we've asked for. I'm Steel Toe. That happens. But thank you guys very much. It was a fun show to do. I want you to hit like. I want such a cope at the end. It's so sad. This is why you don't do the goal. Every show ends on this sour, sad note. All right. So anyway, uh, I guess we'll get out of here. I, 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 you know, I'm sorry. We'll do better tomorrow. I thought it was a good show. I thought it was a fun show. But uh, you know, hit like. I want you to hit subscribe. Getting within ninety bucks of knocking out the goal all by myself. Is a win. I feel really, really good about that. Thank you, boys and girls. Hope some of you decide to become... So he feels good about it. He screamed for seven minutes that they didn't hit it, and but now he feels really good about it. One last clip from Steel Toe today. Yeah, neck deep in man ass, were you? Uh, Pizza Roll says, I had my first blowjob from a goth chick. Best I ever had. Yeah, goth chicks. Uh, yeah, the nice thing about goth chicks were they hated themselves. Okay, so I don't know if Aaron knows what a goth chick is. He he associates a goth chick with just being depressed or self-loathing. I don't like that's not exactly what goth is. Goth doesn't mean you hate yourself. Like this is this how Minnesota operates? Like it's just all basic bitch theorems like this, you know? I I by the way, how are they doing on their march to 10,000? If look, if I couldn't get 30 people to do to click a button for free, I'd walk off a cliff. And by the way, it doesn't seem like I can. I've been asking the people to to go subscribe to the NLO Clips channel for for a week. Well, not really consistently, but please go like like and follow the NLO Clips channel. 300 people over there. Get fucked. I may just not do a show again until we get a thousand. Just to prove a point. What's the point? That I'll never do a show again. So they could probably suck a mean dick. Because they didn't really value themselves. So they would really go for it. A girl who values herself probably doesn't suck dick that well. Because she knows if she sucks really good dick, she becomes less than in the eyes of the man. Because he's like, holy shit, she can really suck a dick. She can. Get so like, I'm I'm blown away here. Girls who suck dick don't have don't value themselves. Girls who suck dick well don't value themselves.
And if a girl, girl can suck dick, well, then guys don't value anything else about her. It's like, well, you sound pretty smart. Go on. Get after it. And he doesn't really think about her other attributes. You know? It's like when you're creating a character in a game and you raise one of his values too high and it automatically forces the other ones down. That's dick sucking for girls in high school. If you suck dick poorly, all your other attributes won't really matter. Okay, so let's follow this logic. If you're bad at sucking dick, all your other attributes don't matter. But if you suck dick really well, it will push down the value of your other attributes. But if you're good at, so if you're bad at sucking dick, your, at, your other attributes don't matter. And if you're good at sucking dick, it pushes down and makes your other attributes matter less. You hear that, ladies? You can't win. If you're good at sucking dick or bad at sucking dick, your other attributes are shit. The part he never thinks about is like what he's saying about his wife. That's the part he's saying about. And it's the thing like, you know, everybody keeps piling on my wife and my marriage and calling, you know, they'll call me ugly or my wife ugly or my proposal cringe or all this stuff. It's like, I don't talk shit about my wife. I love her. I picked her to be with. She makes me feel great and I love her. Everything out of these comics mouths, and I'm counting movie as a comic loosely, is shitting all over their wives. It's like, so now, you know, if it, he either has to pick whether April's worth anything else or sucking dick. <laughs> That's the corner he's just painted himself into. If a girl's sucking dick, well, then her other attributes don't matter. But if she's bad at sucking dick, then her other attributes don't matter. What? I mean, that is what he just said. Listen to it. If you suck dick poorly... All your other attributes won't really matter. But if you suck dick really well, it will push down the value of your other attributes. So you have to. So how do you get your other attributes up? You have to suck dick. I mean, no matter what you do, your other attributes aren't worth shit, ladies. This is movie logic. Settle in it like a 72. And then everything else can kind of freely rise up and down from there. Like what? I, I really am baffled sometimes when he opens his mouth. I'm not sure what we're supposed to think. I'm not sure if April heard that, what the fuck she would think about it. it it's just shocking to me. All right, we're at 5.30 a.m., and uh, April and Mubi are at $250 for their goal left for today. Because they've been having such a difficult time with the goal this week, I think it'll be worth keeping an eye on that today. Maybe at the end we circle back and we're able to uh, watch them fail to meet their goal today. I don't know. Apparently David Chandler's still around. He's changed his name uh, to a different uh, kind of a guy. But I don't know if we can confirm that. Dean, perhaps you invite Lawrence Bradley to host the court proceedings at his residency while you both give commentary. <laughs> I guarantee it will draw more than his show. And you keep the ticket sales to satisfy your debt. I will be on site running the kitchen and will be pushing the special gray, wet, poor Bahama steak with lumpy potatoes will fly out of the kitchen. Um, if you say so, uh, what do you have to say about a movie? Here are our top 10 donors. I'm angry that you couldn't do better. I do a good show. Fluffy Pancake Ninja with $2.54, Captain Funky Monkey with $6.21, Sir Quackington with $1.87, Ninja Turtle Muffin with $3.78, Professor Bubblegum with $4.92, Galactic Sausage Wizard with $7.36, Disco Dancing Potato with $0.99, Queen of Burping Rainbows with $5.45, Drunken Penguin Jedi. With $2.18, uh, Baron Von Ticklebottom with $8.79. <laughs> Remember, you pay pigs. You can give to me on Funky Funds, Quirky Pay, Wacky Wallet, Biza, Rebills, Zanny Zap, Oddball Pay, Whimsy, uh, Cash, okay. Silly Swipe. Okay. Absurd transactions or hilarious payouts. Oh, it made me cry. Oh, it's so fucking funny. <laughs>
<laughs> Professor Bubblegum. What the fuck? All right, that one deserves another play. That's great. Here are our top ten donors. I'm angry that you uh. couldn't do better. I do a good show. <laughs> Fluffy Pancake Ninja with $2.54. Captain Funky Monkey with $6.21. Sir Quackington with $1.87. Ninja Turtle Muffin with $3.78. <laughs> Professor Bubblegum with $4.92. Uh. Galactic Sausage Wizard with $7.36. Disco Dancing <laughs> Potato with $0.99. Cents. Queen of Burping Rainbows with $5.45. Drunken Penguin Jedi. With two dollars eighteen cents, Baron von Ticklebottom with eight dollars seventy nine cents. <laughs> Remember, you pay pigs. You can give to me on Funky Funds, Quirky Pay, Wacky Wallet, Biza, Rebills, Zanny Zap, Oddball Pay, Whimsy, oh, Cash, God. Silly Swipe, Absurd Transactions, or Hilarious Payouts. Oh, that is that's good. I I fucking uh, sometimes the long ones are great. <sighs> Uh, that made me cry. That was great. Okay. Can we reset? Can we reset? Okay, it's uh, Tuesday, and on Friday, we checked in with Michael Ray Bauer, a.k.a. Donkey Lips, a.k.a. Mudstains, and he's having an auction. Things aren't going well. Michael Ray Bauer is now auctioning off personal items from his home and when i say personal items i mean personal dvd and vhs copies of movies that he had little parts in and bits in and on friday i think he started his auction his auction by the way is just email him if you're interested in any of the garbage you see around his apartment so i think he was like doing like VHS movies. We talked about how worn and frayed the auction items were and disgusting they might be and covered in cum, which we assume everything in his apartment is except his dick. And he's posted three videos since then. Now, I, I'm not sure what's happening with the auction or the update. Um, let's dive into it now and see what happened with his auction. Uh, it was supposed to end on Sunday or Monday, I believe. And uh, we have three updates from Michael Ray Bauer. This one is three days ago. Um, what's the date? June 17th. So four minutes long on the 17th. Today's the 21st. So that was, I mean, the 17th was what? Saturday? Okay. What's going on, everybody? First off, I'm coming to you on a Saturday, and I want to thank everybody that tuned in to what's going on on my channel through my social medias about the auction. I've gotten a lot of bids on multiple... Why does he go into the bathroom to do this? Every time he just got to go in the bathroom to record? ...items, and they're good. Thank you very much for say? the support. Multiple items. Auction. I've gotten a lot of bids on multiple items, and they're good. I've gotten a lot of bids on multiple items, and they're good. Thank you very much for the support for all the bids. Remember, everything started at $60, right? That are coming in. I can't thank you enough for being a part of me, helping support. I can't thank you enough for being a part of me. You'll always be a part of me. I'm part of you indefinitely. And trying to get some merchandise and stuff like that. Like I said, the auction will continue all month. Look out for some more videos, some more products. I love that he launched the auction on the 16th of June. And he's like, it's going to be going all month. Like, except for the first half, right? That I'm selling to pay my bills. Speaking of bills, I just did like a commercial for my that's my new sponsor, my good buddy Lance Kramer at Freelance Foods, and I did a taste test of his bourbon barbecue, sweet and smoky and spicy sauce. And even though they're a sponsor and a good friend of mine, 
I'm a food aficionado, and I know barbecue sauces. This one is good. I'm a food aficionado. Perhaps you've seen me in my restaurant whipping up boiled chili hot dogs or toilet tacos. You might know me from such creations as Stovetop Tortilla Boy and... Remember the time you made crock pot chicken and it just came out gray? Like like if you were to cube up parts of E.T.'s torso? <laughs> Seriously good. Um, really, really good. I'm going to do a, a taste test. Maybe I'll share that taste, those taste test videos now with you guys. Um, but it's damn good. Like, this ain't no joke. They got uh, rubs and spices and more flavors on their website, uh, FreelanceFlavor.com. FreelanceFlavor.com. We're going to edit that out. No free plug. Check them out. All links will be down below. Hold on. What was on that? FreelanceFlavor.com. Check them out. All, all links will it was like a note to him from the sauce makers, if anybody can grab that. We'll be down below, and um, I'm going to start cooking some food in the next couple weeks with their sauces and their rubs, man. And I mean, what? He doesn't have an oven, much less a grill. What is he going to do with a rub? Uh, imagine owning a sauce and rub company and picking him to be your sponsor. The only thing he's rubbing is his little peen until his chair is coated with a shimmering glean. What what is he rubbing? What is he saucing? And I can't wait. I know it's a long taste test that I'm telling you guys about, but What? Man, this is seriously good stuff. It's a long taste test that I'm telling you guys about. What does that even mean? I don't even know what he's trying to say there. I am so impressed and so proud. Check them out, freelanceflavor.com. He always says, like, these guys are a sponsor, but I think it's like when Chad says Silk City Hot Sauce is a sponsor. It's like he helped sell four bottles, so he got a free bottle. They also got a website where they do taste test. People, like, send you a free bottle of sauce, and, the, and all these YouTubers will be like, they're our sponsor. They're our sponsor. They compare... You know, foods, burgers, and, and all that. It's a fun website. It's called Flavor Frontier on YouTube, a channel. Go subscribe, like them. For a discount for their merchandise, look in my description below. Use code BOWERTIME. But honestly, it's seriously good stuff. Um, that being said, I wanted to thank a bunch of other people as well for supporting, watching my videos, and, 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 all, and just coming through. At a tough time in my life. Um, just like Lance, uh, Pandora's box toys and collectibles in New Jersey. Lance, Pandora's box toys and collectibles in New Jersey. Freelance flavor time. And Lance, Pandora's box toys what did it what <laughs> like what coming through at a tough time in my life um just like lance uh pandora's box toys and collectibles in new jersey uh thank you guys i appreciate you i love you and i just wanted to give you who's lance pandora is that somebody does anybody have uh, the power to Google Le Pandora's box toys and collectibles from New Jersey? <laughs> I, I, I don't even, I don't know what that is. Somebody look into it. It's gotta be, that's gotta be something, you know, I don't know how he meets these people. I don't know how he gets them to send him stuff and subscribe. I, you know what you need to get? Could could NLO sponsor him and get him some t-shirts? Because 
this Campon Awana shirt is dirty, stained, has a hole in the belly. I mean, fix yourself up. We get him a new trucker cap. You got your quick little three or four minute video letting you know that the auction is going well. Got a lot of bids in for various items. Uh, winner will be announced Monday. And have yourself a good weekend. Uh, that's all I can say. Watch the video. Put in some bids if you're, if you're still interested. He's always signing off. He's one of these guys. This is how you know an idiot. This is a telltale sign of a dummy. They start signing off and saying goodbye about halfway through their video. And then they repeat everything they've said already over and over and over and over. They don't know how to sign off. They don't know how to leave. Just say all the stuff once. DK gifted a membership. Thanks so much, buddy. He'll, he'll just keep saying it over and over and over again. There's three minutes left, but he's he's already saying goodbye. Watch the. I mean, I haven't even watched this, but I know this is what retards do. They can't fucking wrap it up. And look for some more items on Monday or Tuesday. And, um, yeah, we'll go from there. Thank you guys enough. And just to quickly update you on my life, while I'm not trying to make money to pay my bills, uh, I'm watching Community now. And I just finished the first season, and I'm a fan. Community is funny, especially the first. What in the fuck? I'll never forget. I, I was talking to somebody recently, and they said to me, I'm not even kidding you, in 2023, this just came up apropos of, out of nowhere. They go, hey, have you ever heard of this show called The Mindy Project? And I'm like, yeah. And then he's like, oh, my God, like, it's so well written and funny. It's really funny. You should watch it. I'm like. First of all, that show's 10 years old. And second of all, no, no, Mindy Kaling? I'd rather not. I'd rather not. The only reason I could put up with her in the office is because she was always the heel. She was always somebody Ryan was just stiffing on the side. And once she got with Daryl, I didn't, I, you know, I can't even be involved in that. Season. It's really funny. Munyeka, the also, like, he's sitting around just binging full seasons of community while he sells stuff to pay bills. Get a job. Get a job. You know, I, you're selling bootleg VHSs of movies no one's ever heard of. Get a job. Like, the end... The outros of every episode of Community is pretty fantastic. <laughs> that is a good show, Community. So I'm looking forward to watching season two and beyond. But, dude, Community is really good. I recommend it if you need a lot. I mean, can you even imagine that? It feels like a troll. This feels like a troll. Guys, check out Community. Have you heard of Community? It's fucking crazy. It's crazy. It's so meta. It's meta. Because comedy's dead. There's like no good comedy movies anymore, or you can't say and do things anymore. And, you know, it's... Bauer's one of those guys who's convinced himself that the reason he's not getting work is because he's too edgy and he's unvaccinated. He really, like, goes around telling people, like, yeah, I refuse to get the vax, so Hollywood turn their backs on me. Hollywood just refuses to play by my rules. All right, guys. Well, that's all for today's video. Like, subscribe, and come back again tomorrow. Uh, um, yeah. And then we will get those auctions going. Yeah, so anyways, again, all right, guys. Well, that's all for today's video. Like, subscribe, and come back again tomorrow. Uh, um, yeah. And then we'll get those auctions going. Okay, goodbye. Uh. All right, guys. Well, that's all for today's video. Like, subscribe, and come back again tomorrow. Get uh, it? Um, um, yeah. And then we will get those auctions going. And there's a show called New Girl that is hilarious. <laughs> there's a show called New Girl.
It's hilarious. It's really bad. And Community has a lot of comedy, a lot of wokeness as well, but they use comedy around it. It's pretty good. Uh, that being said, love you guys. God bless. Have a beautiful Saturday. Thank you for- You still got a minute left. You think he's wrapping up, but he's not. Being a part of my auction, supporting me, and I don't know what else to say. Go watch The Flash. I think The Flash comes out this weekend. The Flash? The Flash? These guys, you know, stop running around buying movies and stuff. I, I don't even... So I was looking around his YouTube and like the auction video is gone. The video we watched Friday of him promoting the auction, because I wanted to go back and see like what he was selling. I kind of forgot. But he's taken the video down with all the auction items. But don't worry, because on uh, the 19th, this is Monday, he put up this video called do you want a autographed Donkey Lips t-shirt? Here's how. Now, I thought the auction results were supposed to come out Monday, but this is what we got instead. Yo, what's going on, everybody? I'm coming to you guys with a unique offer that I didn't really even think about until somebody... Now, this is Monday. Remember, the other one was Saturday. This is Monday. He's wearing the same shirt. Saturday, he was wearing this shirt, and Monday, he's wearing the same shirt. And we'll be able to tell if it's actually the same exact shirt because it had a hole in the belly. So if he steps back a little bit, he might have never left this bathroom. He might have been camping out by this towel rack for two days. Requested it, and I figured out. Also, is someone trolling us every day he has a dumber hat on? <laughs> Are we not supposed to notice? Hey, maybe I can. Like Chad? Do this for other people since I need support and I'm trying to make a living off of my past. Hmm, you should make a living off of your future. But here goes, what happened was I'm selling items in an auction that you're probably currently involved in and somebody requested a donkey. He assumes all his listeners are currently bidding on his items. T-shirt, but they wanted it autographed. And I don't have any in stock because my merchandise store, link down below, prints the t-shirts and sells them and sends them to you guys. So I don't have them. But I did have my personal one oh, that I no. wear in a lot of the videos. Oh, no. And they requested an autographed t-shirt. What is that up there in the... What is this? Is that a stain or... What is that? He's selling shit out of his dresser drawers now. And they paid a good amount of money for it for, a, let's call it a game worn t shirt. And game worn? What's the game? Toilet Taco Invitational? I'm going to send it to them. Why not? Why not do that? It'll also come, he, he's also getting an autographed Donkey Lips photo. Links down below if you want to pick up one of these in my merch store. And I was like, I can do that with other people. You might not get a worn one, you know, with my BO and my sweat. Maybe this person likes that stuff. I don't know. Chili stains and cum. Maybe it's like a football jersey or a baseball jersey. They want it video worn. But hey, that only up to the price of it. I won't give out those details, but if you guys want an what? autographed t-shirt like this one, like a Donkey Lips on a Wanna Garbage Pell Kid parody shirt autographed to you, or a Camp on a Wanna one that's- He's literally just selling stuff out of his dresser drawer. He's literally just selling garbage out of his drawers. This is getting available in my merch store as well, or a Zeke the Plumber t-shirt. These are so limited right now. They're almost sold out. Can't even. You just said everything's printed on demand and mailed to the customer. How are they so limited? They're sold out. You know, I got to see this guy's merch numbers. I'm a merch, I'm a merch, uh, magnate. 
You know what I mean? Nobody merches without me finding out it. You hear that, Mersh? But if you want an autograph, one of these shirts, go ahead. <laughs> if you want to autograph one of these shirts, go ahead. Go ahead. I dare you. And um, order one. But order it from me personally. Again, if you order it through the merch store, it'll be sent to you. Then you'd have to send it to me. Then I'd have to autograph it and send it back. And I don't have a P.O. box, and I'm not giving out my address and stuff. But um, here's how it'll work. If you, I mean, what the fuck? Yeah, because, again, a P.O. box is, I just renewed mine. It's $250 for the year, minimum. So he ain't got no P.O. box. He's got a B.O. box, but that's just what he calls his apartment. You want an autographed T-shirt, hit me up in the DM or on email. Links down below for my social medias and my DMs. It go down and in the DM. And then go down. let me know the shirt you want, whether it be a Zeke the Plumber shirt, a Donkey Lip shirt, a Camp on a Wanna shirt, and let me know your size or wh whatever size you want me to order. And what I'll do is I will order the shirt from my store on my end. Then it'll be shipped to me. Imagine the thing about dumb people is like, imagine even like revealing this to your customer. No one cares how it works on the back end. You know, so you'll, you guys purchase, normally you purchase a shirt and it gets sent to you. So now what will happen is you guys want to autograph shirt. You order, you send it, you just tell me, and I'll tell you, you Venmo, the shirt, and then you, and you just tell, instead of sending it to you, they'll send it to me, and now I'll cut out the middleman, and I'll, I'll autograph it, and I'll send the shirt to you. It's like, yeah, fine, whatever. Just say, if you want an autographed shirt, let me know. They're ten dollars more, like what or whatever it is. Holy shit! Holy shit! You know, I I, I can't imagine going to McDonald's and then being like, "Yo, we're out of our normal apple pies." Right now, we only have the chocolate pies. We normally have the apple pies, but today we're replacing all the apple pies with the chocolate pies. So sorry about that. So just so you know, if you order a, an apple pie, you'll get a chocolate pie. So don't be upset when you look down and it's not an apple pie. It's going to be a It's like, we heard you. We get it. Fuck. Fuck, dog. Here is some of the items on my auction. Remember to bid, you have to send me a self-addressed stamped envelope with your bid written on the back. I'll mail you back the envelope with a no or a yes inside. If it says yes, then send me another one with your address inside and I'll ush that address to send it to you. The item check for auction, inflatable unicorn horn for catch. Shock shorting machine, portable pizza oven for bicycles, talking toilet paper holder, superhero cape for goldfish, shelf stirring coffee mug with built in alarm clock, <laughs> bacon scented air freshener, solar powered toothbrush, which I ushed, remote controlled wig for Dolkage, USB powered tissue box holder with LED lights. <laughs> what the fuck? A USB powered tissue box holder with LED lights. And then I'll autograph it, take a video as certificate of authenticity for you guys and send it to you on DM. I'll autograph it and send it to you as a on video as a certificate of authentic authenticity. Oh no. Oh no. That's not really Donkey Lips and signature. Oh yeah? Watch this video. He signed it live. <laughs> and I'll keep you updated during the entire process. But I Imagine that.
I don't like that's even funnier. I'll keep you updated through the whole process. Hey Bob, I ordered your shirt. It's coming soon. Hey Bob, just got an update for the tracking number. Your shirt should be here today. Hey Bob, just grabbed your shirt. It's here. Bob, quick update. Signing your shirt later on stream. Hey Bob, I just signed your shirt. Hey Bob, just finished signing your shirt. Tomorrow I'll be sending out your shirt. It's today. I'm going to be sending out your shirt. Hey Bob, just sent out your shirt. Did you get my message about sending out your shirt? Thanks for all the updates. I'll, I'll order the shirts, get them sent to me. He's doing then, it. He's explaining it again. He's explaining it again. He's starting the explanation. So again, it'll come to me. We heard you. I'll autograph it, take a video, ah! then I'll ship ah! it out to you guys because ah! I got your address. But the money has to be up front because I don't have money. To the money has to be up front. It's got to be worth it on my end. <laughs> it won't be like all my other store items where you just say you want them and then it comes to you and you can pay 300 days later. This is totally different. Money up front. It's like, so normal rules? I love it when people explain that everything's going to be working normally at this at this juncture, you know? Like, uh, you ever get to, like, a uh, a traffic light and it's, like, all traffic must stop on red and it's just, like, e yeah. yeah, 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 normal rules. Thanks for the sign, you know what I mean? I, I, I don't, you know, traffic cannot turn left on red arrow. It's, like, right, right, yeah, I passed my driving test. I got it. Normal rules. Order a bunch of shirts that might not even sell. And, um, but I'll keep you updated along the process. Keep me updated. Still haven't sold any. And so I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say. We don't. So if there's any confusion, let me know in the descriptions or DMs or email, and I'll try to answer all your questions. But... But just so you know, I'll probably explain it seven more times in this video. If you want a shirt, hit me up on DM or social media or email. And um, let me know that you're interested in a certain shirt and the then, size you want. Then what will happen? And and whatever. Now, now for the big thing. Now for the big thing. Here's what we've all been waiting for. What's the price? Oh, well. Shirts cost a little bit differently depending on which one you get. You also get an autograph photo, and I got to charge you for the autograph. Long story short, it's going to be... I got to charge you for the autograph. Believe me, I didn't want to charge for the autographs, but then my manager came to me, and he was like, Hey, Donkey Lips, are you giving out all these autographs for free? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, you got to charge. You got to charge for these autographs. $120 for the... Holy shit. Holy shit. Hold on. You could get an autographed VHS that personally belonged to his collection and two autographed photos for $60. He's trying to get you to pay $120 for a t-shirt that costs 20 in his store? Because of the autograph? The fuck out of here. Did I just hear it right? There's no way. $120. Wind that back. No fucking way. Depending on which one you get, you also get an autograph photo. And I got to charge you for the autograph. Long story short, it's going to be $120 for the entire set. You get a video presentation. You get a certificate of, of authenticity video. You get the t-shirt autographed by me. You get a photo or two, a Donkey Lips parody card, and... He doesn't even know what comes in it. A photo or two? All for me. 
So I think that's worth it. If you're willing to fork up 120. This whole thing started with like, does anybody want an autographed t-shirt? Now it's like, you get the t-shirt, you get autographed photo or two, certificate of authenticity, video certificate of authenticity, you get a garbage pail kid card, a, a mini jar of my spunk. It's just on, you get a package of nine things because you wanted a t-shirt. <laughs> it's like on and on and on. You get one of my toes that fell off to the sugar. You get on and on. You get, and then you get 20 bucks for an autographed shirt and a package with a with a photo, a garbage pill kit. I might you know, just bought a bunch of fucking photo paper. It keeps printing out these photos like anybody gives a shit. It's like literally like it's an assembly line of these autographed photos. They're worthless. We had a couple different extra photos on top of this. If I'm feeling nice. Great. We all want to buy things from you based on if you're feeling nice. Imagine if I did that. Like, guys, come on down to the store at nobodylikesonions.com slash store. Order yourselves a hat, a shirt, a mug. If I'm feeling nice, I'll send you the one you ordered. Otherwise, I just kind of reach down in my grab bag of bullshit and throw something together. So if you order a mug uh, from the store, nobodylikesonions.com, slash store you order a mug there it's great you'll get the mug a hat two shirts an autographed photo an nlo frisbee a can koozie a coaster set we've got mouse pads i've got a uh, a pen you're gonna want to want an uh, nlo pen just order the mug 138 dollars for the mug it's like, don't try to, don't try to package together a bunch of other shit laying around your house and, you know, shoe, shoehorn it into this shirt deal. Like, what the fuck? He's like, you order a shirt. Normally shirts are $20. You pay me 300. You get a knob from my oven. You get a broken, a broken uh, GI Joe that I was gonna throw away. <laughs> like it's just like we don't care, we don't care. Stickers, a garbage pail kid, inkjet printer photos. Come on, just get to it already. But pick any shirt you want. Pick any shirt you want. Zeke the plumber. On a wanna garbage pail kid shirt, camp on a wanna shirt, and we'll get that out for you. I want to start just order one of his old bath towels. Don't even wash it. Send me something you've dried yourself with, donkey lips. That's what I want. Hundred and twenty dollars, guys. But it might take <laughs> up to five weeks for you to get the five fucking weeks. Five weeks. You know, you order NLO merch, you order MLC merch. You all have it within a week, sometimes within a few days. Let's say a week. A week to him, he autographs it and sends it to you. Another week. Two weeks max. Five weeks. Five fucking weeks. How long does it take this sloth to get to his P.O. box? Entire package because I have to order it at the store. They have to send it to me. That might take. He's explaining it all again. He is not explaining it all again. So I order them. Then they send them to me. We know. A couple of weeks. Then I have to autograph it, package it up. And Holy shit. This is like the sixth time he's explained the process. I can't. You wonder why these guys never get anywhere. It's like, Jesus. And get all that ready and then <laughs> ship it out on a delivery service. That might take another couple weeks or a week and a half. And then what? it'll be delivered to you before five weeks. But I'm trustworthy. I'm good for it. The money has to be up front. But I promise oh, no. I'm a good guy. I don't. This sounds like Chad trying to convince you to 
send him his address. You can trust me. I'm the mud shark. Just Venmo me your dollars. I'll get it out to you. How are you? I don't think I cheat anybody. <laughs> Who knows? But um, long story short. Jesus Christ. A little long for that. If that's something that interests you guys, besides the auction that I'm dealing with and going on with, hit me up on an email or in my socials or in my private messages or DMs. Let me know. There's nine places you can get a hold of them. What shirt you're interested in, and we'll go from there. I will keep you updated the entire process. Just ask the person that ordered this one. He ordered it only a day ago, and I, he's had like 10 messages from me because I worry and I care and I want to get everybody. This sounds like Chad. This does sound like Chad. You sign up for his $3 Patreon, you get 10 messages. Hello, how are you? Thank you for signing up. Don't leave. Please never leave me. If you do leave, I'll be messaging you. Was it something I did? Is there something I can do to bring you back? Hello, we're doing it. How are you? Body out, and I had to lie down because my body needed rest. What? I got to hear that again. And I care, and I want to get everybody out and i had to lie down because my body needed rest i had to lie down and watch 17 episodes of community about it and i wasn't able to get it out yesterday when he ordered it so i'm getting it out today but um i'll keep you updated so if, if that interests any of you guys a personalized autographed shirt of any kind from my merch store down below in the links hit me up on email dms and we'll go from there Again, you have to same with you guys. If anybody wants an autograph shirt from my store for $120, no problem. Uh, it will take a little longer because what will have to happen is I'll order it from the store and they'll send it to me and then I'll autograph it. You'll get a video <laughs> and then I'll have to get it out to you. 17 weeks minimum. But that is available, $120. Again, it'll just have to come to me, and then I'll autograph it with some sort of a signing apparatus or a pen, as you might call it. And then I'll have to box that up because they don't let you just throw a shirt at the mailman. So I'll put it in a container or a box, and then I'll send that out to you, and then a man will come take it from me. And it goes on a series of conveyances to reach you at your location. Then you'll open it up and you'll be like, wow, this is the thing that I ordered. And I can't believe it came with all these stickers and brine shrimp. Because we include sea monkeys with every order. Um, but it takes a while because uh, when I order the shirt, it has to come to me first to sign it to get to you. But I'll sign it. It'll be legit. I'm a trustworthy person. I have I don't have a a Grand Theft Auto record and then I'll ship it out to you. You have a lot of choices for shipping. There's UPS and FedEx and UPS and USPS and DHL and and all and on track. You know, there's a lot of the companies, but they get they bring the shirt to me and then I sign the shirt and then I'll put the shirt in a box. It's like okay. We got it. You're selling shirts. Fucking hell. I'll buy one. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Holy shit. Holy shit, sir. Maury Memento and Edinburgh Mikey are in charge of the likes today because we're giving Scotland a shot. So get those likes up. Make sure you're hitting like. Make sure you're sharing the show. Make sure you're donating. Make sure you're buying a membership. Make sure you're buying autographed shirts from Donkey Lips. If you send in your proof of purchase of an autographed shirt from Donkey Lips, then you get a, a bonus in your autographed shirt from me. But you have to hold up. You have to make a certificate of authenticity of your shirt from donkey lips to prove to me that you own a donkey lips authentic for your authentication video to the portal and then we verify and upload and confirm 
and then I get a shirt, and then you get. It's like okay, oh, okay. pay through PayPal or Venmo, but it'll, it'll be one hundred and twenty dollars regardless of the shirt or size, and yeah. All right, check out my merch store. I appreciate you guys for just supporting me because I'm really, 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 really doing my best, trying to put in whatever this is called. If this is called work. I'm putting in this work. It's not. Love you guys. I'll see you in another video. And please continue on my social media and my channels for more items coming soon from the auction that is currently going on till the end of, of June. There's more items coming soon from the current auction going on? How do you list more items from a current auction? I can't. I love you guys. Any questions? You love me? I, you know, come on. This is getting, I'm starting to hear like a desperation in his voice that I don't like. And then his last video, the last video we've heard from him, again, the auction video has vanished now. And then this is his last video that he put up. It's called, I'm Freaked Out. And I guess this is where he's going to explain what happened with the auction. And it doesn't sound good. It's it doesn't sound like it went well. Am I coming in clear? Hey mom, am I coming in clear? That's from uh, Mike TV from Willy Wonka, right? What's going on, everybody out there in YouTube land? Friends of mine, fans. Am I coming in clear? Friends of mine, I can't even believe some people like me. I can't even believe some people like me. It's always a great start. It's always a great start. Resting his body, binging community, and drinking barbecue sauce. It's a full time get. Yeah, it's a Wawa summer. I know there's a lot of people that hate me, but there's some people that like me, and I'm here to say I love you too. I thank you very much. You're amazing. You're beautiful, and yeah, all the good things. Happy post Father's Day. I'm not a father that I know of. That old bit. Imagine him having loose seed out there rolling around. But I have had some interesting encounters. Has he fucked? This is a good question. Are we dealing with a virgin here? And I do have a, a story, too, actually, where I should have been a father. What the fuck? Also, this freeze frame... I mean, that should be a phone case. I have a couple stories where I should have been a father. It's like, yikes. And women's rights got in the way of that. What the fuck? I should have been a father, but women's rights got in the way of that? You can call me Nannerpuss, Nannerpuss, and guess what? I love Nannerpuss. Okay, I've got to hear this. <laughs> I don't want to get political, but it's a sad story for men. Okay that want to be fathers. <laughs> Men don't have a choice. Why can't I just use that briefcase you call a uterus for nine months? What's the big deal? Why don't men get a say? With the woman's body. <laughs> Men don't get a choice with the woman's body. <laughs> Holy shit. That want to be fathers. <laughs> Men don't have a choice with the woman's body. Where? Where would the kid sleep? I'm sorry. Donkey Lips wanted to be a dad, but all the women were like, you and what child support? You know, like, what? you don't have a house, Bauer. How many VHS tapes are you going to sell for diapers? 
How many how many autograph shirts are we talking about you pushing out here? He wants to be a dad? Beloved Chatter says he's taking such good care of his body. I think we should let him make choices for women. I mean, holy shit. Holy shit. What a crazy little way to start this auction video. <laughs> All right, we'll leave it at that. Everybody, <laughs> uh, hit that thumbs up, that like, that subscribe button. Um, I'm in a little bit of a good mood today because I had a great weekend. Even though it was stress filled, I had to relax a lot. I watched Community. <laughs> that was a great, great. My weekend was stress filled. I had to relax a lot. My weekend was stress filled. I had to relax a lot. Time, I love Community. I know, that show is so witty, and it's so. That's that makes sense. Witty from ten years ago is about the level that blows Michael Bauer away today. Humorous, and every episode is like something uniquely different, and it's well made and a good. I mean, he is really, really loving community. He cannot get over this TV show community. Mind blown. A friend of mine, Bill Parks, he's in the first two seasons in like five episodes. He's the redhead kid with the red beard. And, and boy, it's a great show. All right. <laughs> Let's talk about the auction. And then I'll get into him. What I'm going to do in the upcoming days. And the auction, I had a lot of bids. What do I consider a lot? At least four or more. <laughs> okay. For, for most of the items. Not every item. Um, and again, we have winners. And they've been announced. They've been... So if you are a winner... Check your email or your DM, and you you got the instructions on to pay, and we'll start the process of shipping and handling and all that. So you got you got till uh, Tuesday, till tomorrow to pay. Then, uh, if the third video in a row, he's wearing this Camp Anawana shirt. He never showers. Bauer don't shower. Am I right? These lights will guide me home. If they haven't paid yet, the people that won that got notified, if they haven't paid by Tuesday, then it goes to the second highest bidder for that individual product. Um, so the, I don't mind announcing the winners, but there are second place people that. So hold on. People bid on the items, but they haven't paid yet. That's what he's saying. Are still in case the first winner doesn't pay. It's an interesting process, this auction. I probably should have done it on like... An auction website. An ulterior platform. I mean, you didn't do it on any platform. So just a platform. Doesn't have to be ulterior. Although I don't think you know what that means. But I don't know how to do it that way yet. Plus, I, ha I like to cut out the middleman... I can't figure out eBay, so I just did it all over DM. So I can get as much money for support as I can. And so I did it like through PayPal and Venmo and emails and it's a lot of work. And I wish it was more There's simple. Four bids on everything. I imagine you were up all night biting your fingers. And I'm sure it is. I um, thought they were chili dogs. Other platforms. I'm just not that smart. But let's just give you guys the lowdown for a split second. So, the Willie's DVD got a winning bid of over a hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, and there were people on here saying, "Oh, I, I submitted so much money for 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 that item, you know," and he's not even contacting me. Again, the winners were announced late last night after 9 o'clock, which is midnight, which I said would be on Monday. And I didn't get those bids. The people that were writing 
down below, oh, I offered this amount of money for this item. So people in the comments are trolling him. They're saying, I offered more. Why didn't I win when they didn't really offer more? You know? Uh, ball powder, Jesus, David Skywalker, his whole body is a triangle. Whose isn't, you know? Let the first one of us cast stones who's got stone. I, I didn't get the, that bid. Uh, I got bids from a bunch of other people for each, for different items. But, Hold on, our bids, Twinkies? You know, the one person that said $500, I didn't get that bid. I got close to that amount on one of the items as well. Somebody paid almost $500 for one of these items? And that person won. Again, I couldn't even find the video where he was, like, promoting the, because I forgot what items he was selling. And he's taken that video down, so you can't even see what he had up for sale. Check your emails, uh, and we'll go from there. But the, the what was it? The, the Willies sold for more than $150. The Willies? Uh, to a gentleman, I think his name is Dino, Dino, Dino. Wilma! And he paid me with the quickness after he was announced the winner. Dino paid me with the quickness. And then, again, we got other people that haven't um, responded yet. They got till tomorrow. Then the second place person gets the bid, um, and we'll talk to them. Uh, and then the... Well, I should have the items in front of me. I'm that bad. Okay, so the Willie's DVD? The second item. Uh, out of or VHS, sorry. Second or third item was the Salute Your Shorts home recording of episodes with commercials. Oh, yeah. the Remember, he video recorded off television with commercials on a blank tape, Salute Your Shorts episode. So if you want if you want to spend all day adjusting the tracking on your VCR, also going out and buying a VCR, um, that'll be great. Uh, that one I sold as well to a or the winning bid was Chris Lehman and I'm going to be honest it, it was over uh, 400 bucks over 400 bucks for a bootleg of of salute your shorts episode on a on a VHS tape over $400 so 150 for the other one he said so he's at 550 but again, that person hasn't responded yet. Oh, so that could be a troll too. Hold on. So none of these people have responded yet. Oh, no. The one guy, Dino, paid with the quickness, remember. But this guy, $400, hasn't replied. <laughs> so it might not be real. People are fucking with him. So that's the trouble with doing this, where you don't really know if they're legit or not or whatever. They aren't. But, hey, live and learn. Um, and then the gag reel for Salute Your Shorts and the original pilot VHS both were bid for more than 175 bucks. I'm sorry, more than 200 bucks. Um, for each wow. I'm sure none of these are lies. He sounds like movie, just moving the goalposts about money. Over 175 or two, maybe 200, I think, probably, right? Each item. And um, yeah, that that winner, I should have wrote it down. But uh, that winner has been notified. So this is the video you're making to give out the results of the auction, but you don't know what items you were selling or who won them. The two things you needed to reveal in this video, you don't have that information, and you're like, I should have wrote it down. It's like, yeah, that's the video you're making. You're making a video about the auction results. Maybe you should, you know, have the auction results with you. And I'm still waiting on payment on a few of these people. And for the winner... And again, there's only three auction things. There's only there's only three items. You're still waiting on payment for a few of them? That's all of them. Except Dino. With the quickness. Whatever that means. Patrick Onion, I, I think you misunderstood my political piece on... Women's rights when I was a, 
a teen Hollywood star I watched knocking up girls left and right. When they woke up from their drug stupor, they went right to the clinic. I didn't have a shea in it because, well, women's rights. I also have had to revise my method for de delivering a shine shirt. You want to get a carrier pigeon and a microscope using a needle dipped in ink, tattoo what shirt you want on the eyeballs of the pigeon and shed it free. When the pigeon finally finds its way to my home, may take up to 20 years, I will decode the order from the eyeballs and transcribe it to my website, send it to your home. I will also print out a separate uh. iron-on transfer with my signature on it. I will send you that, and once you get both the shirt and the transfer, simply iron my signature onto your shirt. Simple, easy peasy. Everybody can have an autograph. Jesus fucking Christ. Congratulations. If, if I wrote you that you're in second place, if they don't pay for that item, then you're in second place. You're going to get an email or a DM, and we'll start the process with you. So he's already, he's already anticipating people flaking out, and he's contacting the second place winners. Saying, hey, there's a chance, you know, that the top four bidders are all trolls, so you got a shot. In picking up that item if these people haven't paid by Tuesday, which is my deadline. So uh, if you're one of the people that check your email, that bid, check your DM. Hey, are you one of those people who check your email? And look for a winning DM or email from me as soon as possible. And look for a winning DM or email. Keep your eyes open. If you miss it, sorry. If you miss it, sorry. Sorry. It's not like I have a whole box full of shit I'm going to be selling. Going to go to the second place bidder tomorrow. All right, that being said, again, I don't know if I'm doing all the right things with the auction. You're not. Uh, also, look at this. He's seven minutes into a 27-minute video. He's already given us all the auction results. I don't mind selling stuff that I think is, you know, personal to me. Some people think, ah, oh, it's a stupid VHS or whatever. I don't mind selling stuff that's personal to me. It is a stupid VHS. It is. It's a movie nobody's even ever heard of before. The Willies. What the fuck is that? Salute your shorts, uh, bootleg copies with, uh, Saturday morning cartoons from some Nickelodeon marathon when you were eight. Your parents recorded it to show it around at Thanksgiving. Look, little Mikey Ray Bauer. He's going to be something one day, my Mikey. He's on the TV. Imagine the disappointment as his life just continued to rot. His father, who died a few years ago, probably thought, you know, by the time I die, my, I'll get to see my son have made it in Hollywood. But Michael Ray Bauer just sat around and rotted. He's gotten less and less and less work as time goes on. But those are like the original ones that I ever had, and there's no more of them. I know you guys think it's cheesy, but those are the original ones I ever had. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about your personal DVD you had. It's like the only copy I ever owned. It's like, oh, well, then I guess it's super valuable to me. <laughs> You know, for me, plus they get autographed, they come with photos. So I, I think again, it he he rips the movie to his computer, takes still frames, prints them out on his inkjet, autographs them. That's worthless. That is worthless. It's worth it um, for collectors, for other people that don't care about me or like anything. Then ah, it's too much money, or you're not worth it. That's fine. But this auction, it, I'm learning a lot. It's a lot of work. Um, I'm trying to do everything as professional as possible. He sold three items and had four bids. It was a lot of work. I had to keep laying down and watching community. He started this up. I'm going to add a, I had a busy weekend. I had to rest a lot. <laughs> possible writing instructions. And I have an overthinking brain. So I've been overthinking this too much. I know I have. Overthinking brain, a condition that only Bauer gets. And again, I get offers, and so far I get scared because I haven't had a, a response. 
as to them being the winner for about a, a day now. It's only been a day, but so out of all these auctions, only one person has paid. And he's getting nervous. He's already contacted the second place and notified them. He's getting nervous. People wouldn't have just bid on these items and, and have no intention of giving me money, would they? Doesn't seem like something the internet would do. But I get all freaked out and everything again, you know, so hey, we'll see. And um probably tomorrow I'm gonna put some more items on the auction um i gotta go through rummage through some other stuff kind of been not rummaging through everything remember i i put the offer out there if somebody bids on these items get a hold of these bauer items win these auctions send them into the p.o box which we we have here for your availability nobody likes onions care patrick melton 4948 mountain vista street Number 13932, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89121. A couple people have been sending stuff by UPS or FedEx, which is fine, but it, it's a P.O. box. But you can send stuff FedEx or, or UPS. That's fine. They, they accept it. But you've got to put, I've had some issues with a couple packages. You've got to put the number on there. That number at the end is not just for fun. <laughs> it's part of the address. you got to put that number one three nine three two or they can't get the package to me or it'll take forever we got one in limbo right now that i'm trying to track down at the post office but two times people from fedex have sent stuff in and they've not put that you you got to put the whole address guys even on the second address line if you want to put box number one three nine three two whatever it is you know but you got to put the whole address okay Patrick just doxed himself per Bauer. What do you mean? How did I dox myself? Uh, you got to put the whole address, okay? But send it in and we'll burn this man's uh, personal belongings. That means so much to him, but he's got to sell them to pay bills. Somebody win one of these auctions and 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 get the stuff, you know? And it seems like it's easy because he's getting a lot of fake bids. He's getting a lot of fucking, you know. Thing that I want to sell. I know. Getting a lot of trolls. So I imagine you throw out a $65 bid on this stuff. I have certain things in my mind like props or things I took from the set or clothing. Things I took from the set. Stolen merch. Or scripts or, as like I said, the VHSs and whatnot. And, um... Some of them are packed up in, in my closet, and, I, and I, I'm kind of afraid to rummage through them, uh, you know, create a mess, create a lot more work, and then, then I have to... Yeah, you wouldn't want a mess in this fucking apartment. Jesus Christ. Put the items in auction again where I kind of don't want to get rid of some of them, uh, but, you know, I'm doing it. People are like, hey, you're, you know, just tell us that you're quitting the auction already. You know, you're not responding. You're quitting. What? What is he talking about? He's mad at people who are bidding? I don't understand. I'm transparent AF. So the people that just... just yeah, bidding 375 is free. <laughs> want to cause controversy and drama? My goodness, relax. Relax. Yes, I have second thoughts. Everybody does. By the way, it's June in San Fernando Valley. It's hot. Why is he wearing, like, a winter hat in all these videos now? Sometimes he keeps just moving it around its dome like a yard gnome. I get lazy. I want to go to sleep instead of putting the work. That's what I do. I want to go to sleep instead of putting in the work. And then somebody says, hey, you can't get a hold of him. You don't think He's I want to sleep? You think I want to get up, get up when that alarm goes off at 2? Fuck no. Wait till 10 o'clock at night. Well, that's mostly true, but when I'm on a really, really bad schedule, which I am 70% of my life, but I've been on a good schedule lately, waking up 5 o'clock in the morning. Um, problem is I don't put in all the work all day, um, but I'm doing better, and that's all I can say. What is the work? I don't know, you know, like mailing out these VHSs? What's the work?
You know, every day I feel like I need 10 more hours in my day. Between doing the show, prep, putting the show out on other platforms, doing the graphic, social media, customer service for all the overdose issues, you know, answering Ryan's email about hats. Hey, do you guys have any of the black flex fit hats in XXL? I have a really big head and would like to get both hats. Thanks. Yeah, we have we have tons of XXL hats. I just don't put them on the store. You got to email me for those. We have a lot of secret sizes that I don't make available on the store. You got to email me. You know why? I love work and I love emails. So yeah, I got to create a promo code and you take it over there and you got to enter a password and we both turn keys and it unlocks the double XL hats. We make it really hard to get them. Cause I thought that'd be more fun. No, if it ain't on the store, we don't have it. <laughs> hey, do you guys have different shirts that aren't in the store? N no, no, we don't. Do you have other sizes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a lot of stuff we just haven't gotten around to putting up yet. No, the flex fit, the flex fits only come in the two sizes, small, medium, large XL. Get yourself a large XL, cut the back, put a little V in the back if you need to, and it'll expand more. I doubt you have too big of a head for that. Come on. I got a giant head. This one's loose on me. Do you guys have different sizes in the mugs? Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't think anybody would want it. I was really shy. But if you want one for you, wink, wink, nod, nod. Yeah. You guys don't have a secret menu? Yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking hell. Uh, no, Ryan, sorry. But try even a snapback. You know, you can adjust the size on it. I, I'm sick of te teaching people about hats. I think you'll be fine, but I don't know. And if you got a giant freak head, maybe just have a, a woman on Etsy sew you a custom something or other. Or Fearless. Maybe Fearless can weave something out of fabric and make you a custom head wrap. I don't know how it works. You know, battling with my depressions, my anxiety, whatever I battle with. Again, every day is a new day. I try I try as best as I can. Every that day, day is never a good winding road. But that's okay. Uh, so for the so for the items that sold again, in a couple of days we'll have a bigger update with that, and then hopefully, um, like every every couple of days or something, I'll put some more items for sale. Um, and you know the bigger ticket items will probably be around the end of the month. I, I haven't quit the auction. I have second thoughts every once in a while. And um, do I really want to let go of my only VHS copy of the Willies? I have second thoughts every day. But I'm not there yet. So don't think that I'm. But I'm still broke. So the auction is still on. Stopping or quitting. I just get lazy and I don't open up the boxes and. I don't film the video, but Justin Kemple said, break out the goblets. Thanks for being an overdose light member. Whatever. We'll figure it out. But here's my option, guys. Um, I'm not saying I'm having trouble with the auction because they still have time to pay, you know, or respond or whatever. But like so it sounds like this is going bad. It sounds like people are bidding on stuff and not paying him, <laughs> which is. You know, uh, of course this was going to happen a little bit, but how did he not see it coming? And now he's starting to panic because I bet he started spending that money in his head. He got a $400 bid for something and he's like, oh boy, I'm going to get the new Oculus. I'm thinking, is it better to like make a page on my merchandise store that says like garage sale or personal items or make a category called auction items even though it's not an auction 
But, you know, just take a picture. Guys, if I make a section on the NLO store called garage sale and just start listing things laying around the studio, does anybody want this salsa? You know, I got a jar of Carla's salsa here. An original copy of the of the Butch Bradley incident. This is an original copy. <laughs> I got a I got a I got a bottle of Insure here sent in by a fan. Anybody? Anybody? Jeff Closer's Insure. <laughs> Picture a description of that item. And then put it in my merchandise store. I got some old balsa wood in my garage. Just some planks of balsa wood. Anybody? You know, and the, but only, and I put it at whatever price I want. But I, I wanted to maximize the value and get more offers. But I don't think the website does that. Um, but like. He cannot figure out how to make an auction. He's lost. If only there were some software. Or a website service that would allow people to bid. But I don't think we have the technology yet. It goes regular website, $6 million man, and then eventually we'll get around to how to make an auction website. But we, I'm pretty sure we don't have the tech. It might be easier for me because I don't really know how to work all Computers, the time. I don't really know how to do all this technology. stuff. Technology. Um, it might be easier for me just to put whatever prop or clothing or whatever in a picture on my merch store in a folder or something or in a category that says yeah like, in a folder put it in a folder on your merch store garage shell and then you guys check my merch store every day or two and then that the first person yeah that, what a fantasy this guy's in you guys check my merch store every day right that wants that item they just buy it straight away he doesn't want to pay eBay. He's, yeah, but there's a million other ways to do it. You buy it from my merch store. And, and then, you know, but that's why I tried to do the auction. So other people would have, a, you know, um, the, the ability to get it. So you could make the most money. We know. We get it. You're poor. Somebody takes it from them. <laughs> I don't know. Long story short, guys, I'm learning daily. Long story short, but he's not halfway done with this video yet. I'm trying to figure it out. Thank you. Some people sent me suggestions on how to do all of this, and I thank you. They sent me auction websites and stuff like that, and I, I thank you so much for your feedback, your fandom, and your love. All right. <laughs> I'm not going to be doing any of that. There's a lot of technical mumbo-jumbo I didn't really understand, but thank you for your feedback. It's all love. So you guys know what's going on with the auction that I'm trying to do. Now, let's get to some good news. Okay. Now that we've talked about the auction, let's get to some good news. I guess he considers the auction bad news because nobody's paying, except for the one guy, Dino, with the quickness. <laughs> Again, tomorrow or Wednesday. Dino paid me right away with the quickness. I like to get paid with the quickness. I'm going to put some more items up in a video, so stick around for that. Please follow me on all my socials. Link will be down below. Uh, if you want to pick up merchandise, like I, I still got on the Camp on Awana t-shirt. We know. Uh, they've been selling really good. And um, I think I put out a video if you want to buy an autographed shirt. It's kind of. Like I think I put out a video. Everything's foggy to me between the laying down and the community binging. Like the auction, you have to buy it from PayPal or Venmo, and then I gotta buy the shirt, they gotta send it to me, then I- Oh no, he's in this loop again. I autograph it, then I send it out to you guys. It's a long process, but if you guys wanna do that, buy one- of It's not, it's not. It's one extra step of, of buying a shirt online. Buying a shirt online and having it come to you is the normal process. Buying an autograph shirt and having it come to me, that's all I need to know. How you do it on the back end, you know, Bauer's like, it's got to, a lot of people have to sign off <laughs> to make this happen. These donkey lips or, you know, Camp Anawana, Zeke the Plumber autograph shirts, um, the instructions are in that video. I'll leave it in the, the, the description below. 
All right, whatever. And not whatever, but whatever. so much in my head. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, I don't think there's so much in your head. Stuff, man. Um, kind of freaking out, guys. I'll probably title this video I'm Freaking Out because um, I've gotten a lot of feedback did. from people that I trust and I respect and, and I love and, and I consider friends or, you know, whatever. And they're just... They're giving me, like, criticisms on my videos and my depression, oh, no. my anxiety. Because I tend to talk to you guys in a depressed state oh, or no. an anxiety state or a stress-filled state. Oh, or I, no. I tend to tell you all my problems. Um, I kind of, I like, use you guys as therapy. Um, and the truth is, like, I understand it's not really warranted and it's not a good look for me. Everybody wants to see the fun field, Mikey, or Michael, or, you know, Don Clips, whatever you call me. Everybody wants to see the good health, the good... Remember when he said that if you come up to him and call him Don Lips in person, he won't even... He doesn't like that, and he won't respond to you. He's like, I'm an actor. I'm Michael Ray Bauer. Don Lips is a character. Don't approach me and call me Don Lips. It's like, mm, we're going to call you Don Lips. You're Don Lips. To us, you're Don Quixote. You have to understand, no one knows you from anything else. Sorry. And every time you pop up in something, you have a, you know, you guest on a, an episode of Two Broke Girls, we go, holy shit, Donkey Lips was on Two Broke Girls. We only know you as Donkey Lips. So it's not disrespectful. Spirits, the, the fun, the laughing uh, of Michael. And unfortunately, I can't give that to you guys on, you know, every day of my life. Every day is different, and I'm also dealing with a lot right now. I'm dealing with a lot every day. But it's always, it's just one of those guys that, like, has nothing going on, but they're always telling you how much they got going on. I'm dealing with a lot right now. I had to lay down a lot this weekend. Remember, he started things like, I had a busy, stressful weekend. I had to rest a lot. It's like, did you have three things you had to mail out? Holy shit. You need to lay down? Uh, a lot of stress right now. He doesn't work. He's not acting at all. He's binging whole seasons of community. It's uh, We're all supposed to feel sorry that he can't pay his bills? It's like, if this couldn't pay my bills, I'd be looking for a job. If this couldn't pay my bills, I'd be, you know, working at Popeye's Chicken. I would free apple pies or chocolate with my family so prayers for my brother he 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 was hospitalized um close to death your brother was hospitalized close to death <laughs> <laughs> you know I thought you don't talk to your brother I thought he was estranged now it's like your brother was hospitalized close to death it's like take out a life insurance policy and solve two problems with one bird <laughs> and now he's recovering but it's his fourth time in a detox rehab facility. What a pussy. Just end it. Four times? Get out of here. You're wasting everybody's energy. You know. Can someone explain to me what happens to people like Donkey Lips once they're elderly? Do they go into a government-run home? Yeah, I imagine at some point the state takes over, although he's in California, so he'll probably just be allowed to grab his three most valuable VHS tapes and live out on the street because California thinks that homeless people are cool. And just prayers, okay? It ain't no joke. It ain't no joke. Citizen M says, I feel sorry for him. I'm sorry. Look, I feel sorry for him a little bit too, but what can we do to help as the onion? But um, in case you're watching... I'm proud of you for now doing a 90-day treatment. 
after you know your life was saved by the grace of God and oh boy and let's just find I feel like these should have been two videos imagine doing this like a all right guys here's the auction update and then my brother tried to take his own life and he's in a facility it's like maybe break those up different vibe also didn't he start this whole segment by going and now some positive news my brother's at a facility he did the auction stuff and then he said and now let's do some good news and then moved on to his brothers in a facility and by the grace of god get well soon you know it's like this is the positive news please edit these videos better you got to break them up i'm coming here to learn if i won an auction you announced the winners kind of i guess but nobody paid except for dino with the quickness with the quickness this guy dino paid with the quickness <laughs> your life let's find your life again Death of a whalesman. Jesus. Alcohol and drugs are no joke. Alcohol and drugs are no joke. It's like, w w neither are toilet tacos, you know? What are you infected with that's got you all swollen? <laughs> like, you know. All right. Woo! Enough of the sad. On to the glad. I mean, you already said that. You said moving on to good news. But again, like, break these videos up. I, I don't want to come here to learn about my auction and then have all this happen. What is that, the gorgeous ladies of Russia? No, that's GLOW. <laughs> GLAD is like a, a alphabet community. Okay, whatever. But, uh, so what was I saying? He catches himself, try, you know, he's trying to be this right-wing guy, and he catches himself constantly, like, all right, I don't want to get into the GLAD stuff. Yeah, so I've been getting a lot of feedback um, you know, basically judging me. Is he hugging telling himself? Telling me how the videos and everything I post on Instagram or YouTube, not everything, but like, it's not good. It's not good for me. It's not good for my so-called career. It's not good for my image. It's not good for me personally. People want to shy away if I ever call them because they watch me depressed in a video. So they think I'm going to talk to them on the phone and all I'm going to do is relay all my problems, whatever. Yeah, I mean, if, if Michael Ray Bauer shows up on your caller ID, what are you thinking? You going to take that call? But the visualization of who I am is really, really bad. My image. And um, I got to change it. I know I do this every, every year or two, but I got to change it. I just, not saying that I'll become fake, but I, I got to stop presenting my problems to you guys i gotta stop being transparent from your mouth uh, to god's ears because it's always used against me in some form or another by you know other hosts of shows or this or my friends or or whatever you know and then they use not that it's an excuse but they say we're only looking out for you because we care about you judging people to set to a standard that maybe you live by or your image. So maybe you don't make tacos in your toilet. Does that make me not a human? If you prick me, do I not have blood that leaks out and immediately crystallizes into sugar? <laughs> Is your view of a person from the offset? Yeah, it's not good. I wish people would just be there for me instead of judging me, you know, oh, hey, you know, why are you depressed? Or, oh, boy. Why are you sad or, or whatever? Like, do you want to talk about it? Of course I get people like that. But sometimes I, when I see people, they don't ask me that stuff. They just say, hey, I saw your video. Are you a sidle? Are you a sidle? It's not good for your image. It's not good for your career. That's why you're, you're not making money. That's why you're not getting more subscribers on YouTube. Nobody wants to watch that bullshit. It all hurts. Everything I hear, it all hurts. But I, I, I understand some of the points. I get it, and I know it. I'm a, I'm a smart enough guy to know 
that I'm stupid, but, uh, you know, <laughs> so, um, I gotta change, um, so I'm gonna try to put together a plan this week to hopefully try to only post, you know, I got better content, more stories. Does this sound familiar? Uh, I'm going to have to. So I got to change. You know, I got to change. And I know it. I got to change. Like, I, I'm, I'm the only person that controls me swinging back. So I'm going to be swinging back. So on my career, you know, and, and sell up all the TV shows and and, and, and movies and wear T-shirts. You know, Not that I'm a sellout, but I got to use my past career. I got to start wearing T-shirts. I got to start wearing T-shirts. You know, it's time to change. Maybe I go for a button up. Maybe a Henley. You know, maybe I just start wearing three piece suits around town like Tommy and C2010. You know, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to let this play. I got to go piss. I'm going to let this play because it's long as fuck. Tell me if I, uh, tell me if I miss anything good. Mori Memento. Edinburgh, Mikey, you're in charge of the likes. Logging Road King, you're in charge of the Super Chats. And everyone else, you're in charge of each other. Keep an eye out. Make sure it's uh, positive. Keep it fresh. I'll be right back. Here to make me money because it's one of the only things that's helping me make some money right now because I'm not the type of person that can really handle a real job right now. I could handle a real job if it's something I liked and I can handle with my health and my brain and all my situations. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna try to treat it more like a job, the YouTube thing and Instagram and Facebook. I might be deleting a bunch of things and you know, I'm gonna start posting, hey, look at me here, wearing my new clothing from, you know, DKNY. Hey, follow me on Instagram. I'm a model. I'm a this. I'm a that. Hey, guys, I got a new Salute Your Shorts podcast. <laughs> hey, I'm at the Museum of Natural History. I never go out. Hey, I'm in front of my pool wearing a bikini. I'm in jorts. <laughs> but it's all positive. Some of it's bullshit. <laughs> but it's a way to, to present a more positive person. And many people have problems and they want to see a more positive person. They want to see me getting out, walking, exercising, living life. And I'm trying to get there. And it's really hard sometimes. But I understand the feedback. And again, I'm going to try again. And dust yourself off and try again. Wow. Dust yourself off and try again. No singing. It's what I'm going to do. Easy, Ray. So if you guys see some of the videos on my channel, they're going to be... Uh, Make probably put in members only the more depressed videos that I talk about problems. You guys should be in the members only too. Sketty to John, thank you for renewing your overdose membership today. Uh, I appreciate you. I love you guys. I really memberships is the only thing that gives me income on YouTube. Every video, guys, I we post, only need 160 a more members to catch Steel Toe. Mean, believe it or not, we've gotten 50 memberships um, today. That's you know, crazy. With 500 views. So at least with, you know, the 40, 45 Just over 50. that I got right now, I get like a dollar and a half each. Hold on, so what? Right now, I'm barely making over like $125 on this YouTube channel. But I He get makes $125 a month on his YouTube channel. Whoa. Whoa. Money with money. By the way, YouTube payday today, huh? Cha-ching, everybody. Merchandise in other ways. I ain't making a lot, but long story short, thank you guys. Maybe I'll make that a video. After. We got we're gonna have to reach out to Donkey Lips and make him a star here on the Nobody Likes Onions channel. How much I make on YouTube. It ain't that we're gonna much. add him to the NLO network, the Melton Network. Um <clears throat> a subsidiary of the Brandon Network, actually, so Citizen M, people joke, but he just can't work at Popeye's or Walmart. The rate of living there is sky high. He needs to move out, but don't pretend he wouldn't have to uh, uproot his entire life. Yeah, but, like, at what cost? 
you know, he he acts like he has to be like fuck off to his name. At some point, you're like you're approaching forty. You've got to take the reins of your life. I have a million loser friends living in New York City and living in L.A. because they're convinced that they need to be there for the business. But I'm a comedian. It's like you're not. You work at Bubba Gum Shrimp. You walk around the city grabbing stuff for other people because you work for Instacart. Michael Ray Bauer thinks he needs to be in L.A. because the business, because Hollywood. No one's calling for Michael Ray Bauer to be in Hollywood. No one. He can't even work. He's not. He's on disability. So, yeah, he could work at Walmart. He could work at Popeye's if he moved to Phoenix. He's, he thinks he has to live two streets over from where his papa was born. He's a simpleton. It's the same reason Ray can't leave Cleveland. Where? Where would I live? Cleveland is home. He doesn't even understand. It'd be like if I kept making a pilgrimage back to my small town in Florida that I'm from every year, even though there's nothing there for me. But it's home. I don't know how to be anywhere else. You're, you have to figure out your finances like everyone else. He's sitting in a box in the middle of one of the most highly... Uh, sought after rental markets in the country screaming about money and how he can't make it. But he also doesn't work at all. So I understand what you're saying, but like, well, if he worked at Popeye's, he still wouldn't quite be able to afford anything. It's like, right. But right now he's just sapping disability and making an extra hundred here and there off cum-soaked DVDs. Sorry, VHSs. So like, at what point do we like shake people out of it and go... The dream is over. Hollywood's not calling. You're going to die alone and with nothing if you don't get it. It's like, it's like Chad. Like We get it. You're a comedian. You're doing it. You're one of the only ones out there still working. You work. You're a guy. We get it. Bone in the Carbarian, you're going on the wall. Bonin. Bonin. He's given out so many memberships today. Uh, we'd be we'd be remiss not to reward him. So uh, you know, I I understand. I'm sympathetic. I get it all. But like, at some point, you can't just keep going. Like, even if I had a job, I couldn't afford rent. It's like, okay, now what? What do we do? What do we do to get this going? What do we do to get this popping? How do we fix it? The answer isn't keep sitting in North Hollywood and not making money. <laughs> like, that definitely isn't the answer. So, you know, I, I I get it. I do sympathize with the guy just as much as I sympathize with other people. But, fuck. Can we have a bone in the Carbarian month? I, that is not a bad idea. I'm I'm... Willing to pass that up the chain and see what happens. Yeah, I, I, I'm mixed on donkey lips because it is pure unbridled laziness. But he also, he doesn't know what to do. He's paralyzed, you know, and not just from the obesity. He just doesn't know what to, he doesn't know where to go or what to do from here. All right. And then on another good, I know this video is 22 minutes long. Thank you guys for watching. Um, <laughs> And in another bit of good news, like, I sometimes go back and watch my, my vlogs at a happier point in time when I had my house or, or this or that. And I smile. I laugh at myself a lot. Uh, a lot of you guys might laugh at me as well or, or laugh at the vlog. Or Adam has two hands has gifted five memberships. Holy shit. Movie is not going to like this. And look at Corey Adam outed, everybody. We got him. Corey Adams spying on the onion. We got one. Ugh. If you ever catch me, if you ever out me watching Corey Adam with a free membership, woo. I'll quit broadcasting. If you ever catch me with like, the, how embarrassing.
How embarrassing watching Melton. Gross. I think my jokes or whatever it is is funny, and I appreciate that. But it, I wanted to start vlogging again, but I don't have the phone. What? The audio is really messed up on my phone. Um, what is? What are you recording this on? Really quickly. But it's one of the only things I have. This is one of those things. Beloved Chatter five memberships. Holy shit. We 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 got we got almost a hype train going. Carlos Danger Ray DeVito's got to start doing memberships on his page. He doesn't. He doesn't. Are you his friend? Are you his like everyone stop doing the membership thing without anything to offer? It's why Chad's now got a contest where he's giving out a free T-shirt if you become a member. You got to give him something. And he learned from Steel Toe to just run a lottery. <laughs> well, they're not getting any content. They're not really getting uh, any sort of uh, laughs out of it. So I may as well give them a T-shirt they don't want. As if anybody wants to stroll around town in a... Zumok Mania t-shirt. As if anybody wants that. But okay, you know. If you say so. <laughs> Zumok Mania. Yeah, print me a hundred. He's just sitting around. Boxes full of those. But we got Donkey Lips here saying he can't vlog. It's like Chad, like, oh, I couldn't, uh, I, w I couldn't put up anything on Patreon because my YouTube was shut down. Oh, yeah, that's the reason that your pay paying Patreon members were getting nothing because your YouTube was shut down? Okay. Serial Killer 5 memberships. Clifford upgraded to the overdose light. Look at him rolling in. I'm never going to get to continue this video. You guys are just piling them on today. We are 120 away from reaching Steel Toes, 800 members. I'm confident we'll do it this week. I'm not even worried about it. I don't, I'm not even asking for it anymore. You guys are just making it happen. You're doing it, Peter. <laughs> By the way, Ian Hawk apparently banning people in the Discord again unilaterally. Oh, boy. This is like the third time. Like, we all have discussions. We're not going to ban anybody without talking about it, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I just keep hearing, like, Ian ban me. Ian ban me. Ian ban me. It's like, what's going on? I understand if it's, like, his wife. <laughs> uh, Michaela gifted five memberships. I mean, it just keeps going on and on and on. Danny Stories gets a membership. Can we get to, can we get Aaron to melt down? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Daytois says Ian burned me. Ian banned me. I, that can't be true. If that's true, Daytois, email me. I, I don't know what's going on. I don't even know who to believe anymore. You might even be trolling me and Ian's not doing shit. I don't even know what's going on. But I don't know of any reason anybody should be banned from the discord. And again, we all talked about it saying that we weren't going to do that. So if that's happening, I don't understand what's going on. But I'm easily trolled and gullible. So I don't know if it's real or not. Ian fucked my wife. Ian banned me on Chad's channel. Ian sucks. Ian mooned me. Hawk went troll. <laughs> I think Hawk's always been a troll. You know, the difference between a troll is just the eye of the patrol trolder. The eye of the patroller. Ian says, no one has been banned. What the fuck is going on? I believe Ian. If Ian says he, ha he didn't ban nobody, I believe him. But I got an email this morning from... Or in the middle of the night, I got an email from... Uh, who was it? I don't even remember who it was. 
All these people like think they're getting me. This guy, this guy wrote me. Uh, who was it? I don't even remember the name. He wrote me and he included, I'm not kidding you, in the email, it was all caps the subject. Ian Hawk banned me. What are you guys, a bunch of little pussy bitches or something? Like all caps screaming at me. Had enough of my shit, huh, fat boy? Like all this stuff yelling at me. I was asleep. He even says in the thing, Ian Hawk banned me because he couldn't take take it. Are you guys sick of my shit, fat boy? Like yelling at me because Ian Hawk banned him. And then I'm not kidding you, he attached like a bunch of like pictures of like guys flicking people off and like memes and then a video, a, a video was attached to the email that I played and is like, it's cause I'm too much motherfucker for y'all. It's like, it's just like, holy shit. Imagine getting kicked out of a discord and then just railing at a guy who had nothing to do with it. He wrote like, you've had enough. You couldn't take me motherfucker. And I just wrote back. I don't know who you are. So the problem is definitely has nothing to do with me not being able to take you. <laughs> like, I don't know. There's nothing. I, you know, Chad thinks we over in our discord, we're like trying to bring him down and plotting. It's all like pictures of barbecue and jokes about profile picture. It, there's nothing. No one's plotting to bring down Chad. There's a reason there's no screenshots of that happening ever anywhere. So I don't know. Yeah, some guy this morning was messaging me like, I don't even remember the guy's fucking name because I don't know him. Yeah, you couldn't take it, could you, fat boy? It's like, I right, sure. Sure, I guess I couldn't take it. Um, <laughs> I guess. I don't know what we're talking about, but yes, I'm so mad that in the middle of the night I told Ian Hawk to ban you. I don't, even, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know how to pretend that's a real thing. To walk around or vlog with, that's kind of easy. I got it. Oh, yeah. He wants a phone to walk around and vlog with, so it's easy. I guess whatever this setup is, is too complication. A DSLR from many years ago. I think it's called a Rebel, a Rebel 3. Somebody said we do post videos of Chad's Zoom court appearance. I don't know if that's a plot to bring him down. Also, I've never seen that. Um, people may not believe me. I'm not like in the Discord. I miss a ton. I haven't seen that video. I still haven't seen Chad's Zoom Court video. So please tag me if you have that. I would love to see it. Or something like that. Um, but again, you got to put back. Also, does Steel Toe have 10,000 subscribers yet? Because if he doesn't, that's sad. Can somebody check? Batteries. I can't even zoom in. It's hard to focus. It's got manual focus. So you need another person to film you. And Hold on. Focus no, no, no. No fucking way. No way. Holy shit. 50. No. Buddy. Likes. Onions. Memberships. Holy shit. Lock up the vault. Too much. Too much. Lock it up. Lock it up. Lock it up. All right. DK is getting a special. He's already on the wall. You know, right behind my head here. DK. He's, he's getting a. I mean, that's. You know. That's up there with Ian Hawk. DK and Ian Hawk are like neck and neck now for like eternal wall dwellers. Ian Hawk always has a spot on my wall. <laughs> that sounds sexual, but it's true. And and by the way, I think I got to turn it off. I think I got to turn it all off. I can't. We can't have fifty. That's gonna. That's the rest of the show. Cha ching, cha ching, cha ching, cha ching, cha ching, cha ching. Jesus, Jesus, and I don't know what that's going to do to the number, but it's got to put us close. It's still tallying up. We're at 106 right now. It's still tallying up, so that'll be a while. I'll turn the overlays back on, but the emojis and sounds and even don't do an instant uh, chat right now. It's all off. 
It's all off for now. Let's finish this donkey lips video. And I can't focus when I put it on a tripod or I walk around with it, I'd have to go like this. And then of course I can edit that out, you know, but that's a lot of editing work. Long story short. Somebody get him a, a ring light selfie stick. <laughs> I'm gonna start vlogging again. I'm gonna try to make some cooking videos like I, I mentioned a week or two before. And um, hold on, is DK David Chandler? Did he change his name from Dave, DC? And now it's Chandler with a K. That might be who da David Chandler is now. DK David K Chandler. David K Chandler. <laughs> I'm just going to try to put out funner videos. And I fixed my computer. I think as good as I Guys, keep an eye on it. Let me know if anybody good gets outed. Um, DK said, no, I'm not. I mean, you might be Kachandler. I can get it at the moment with it being like 20, 22 years old. No, I think I built it in like 2010. Cost me a lot of money back then. He's so he's using a computer from 2010. I can't. I built it as best as I could back then. And so what? That's 13 years old, whatever. <laughs> but uh, I got an editing software uh, the other day. Um, I'm not going to tell you how I got it or how I got the serial numbers. But I got an, what the fuck? an editing software, and it appears to be working good enough on my old computer. So that made me think, I don't care. I'm going to walk out of the house, do what I do. I'm going to take my camera with Did somebody give him like an old copy of like premiere from 2011, the messed up audio. It's a little bit grainy, the audio, and I'm going to start vlogging and then I'm going to edit some stuff together. It's called iMovie, not on its 2010 PC. His, how much do you want to bet donkey lips computer is riddled with spyware and porn apps and malware just riddled with who knows how much how many people are like how many people in india are watching his his laptop camera at all times and and, and make some vlog, vlogs again maybe one a week so that makes me excited oh no the simp oh no i thought we were done chris bueller gifted 20 fucking memberships we might knock this out today. Just as just for funds. Just for funds. Holy shit. I love that. And I don't even know. Hold on. Let's let me do this and then this. And let's see what that does. Simple things make me excited. And um Again, I like vlogging. I like making little mini movies. Some people say they're too long, just like this video, because they're always like 15, 20, 30 minutes. I don't know. That's what I do. Some people say NLO is too long, 20, 30, 50 hours. That's what I do. But yeah, so I'm excited. I got an editing software that appears to be working good on my old computer. And you have what to does use that mean? Got, which is my... my my iPhone that's a little bit old with a little bit of messed up audio. Yeah, I want to get Bauer as like a regular on this show. Turn on gifts, you pores. Turn on gifts, you pores. Um, so I'm going to use what I got. And it'll at least give me something to do and something to be excited about in my simple life. All right. I think that's enough for now. I love you guys. You're all amazing. Thank you guys for putting up with me for 30 minutes. Uh, everybody that's participating in the auction, again, check your emails and DMs. You might be a winner. And yeah. It's like Publishers Clearinghouse. You may already be a winner. Let's just move forward from that. Let's move forward from that. If there's anything else you guys would like me to talk about or vlog about in a future video, Again, sometimes I don't have any ideas.
Yeah, Chris Bueller's going busy, on the wall if he's not TV already. And film and episodes of Community. <laughs> I like lying down watching episodes of Community. Wow. All right, guys, pick yourself up some merch. Links are down below. Some of the stuff. Oh, I'm going to be adding to the merch store in the coming days as well. And like I said, I might put together a garage shell. Hit us with the numbers, Pat. How are the steel toe numbers? It doesn't register right away. So I won't see the tally, the total. I, I would imagine it, it's, I think we're like 100 away, if I had to guess, about 100 away now. But I can't, it doesn't, I think it takes about 24 hours to like register in the total. So like it won't even show up. Like, I don't know, it, it went down six overnight. Maybe yesterday's did, weren't even like tallied in yet. So I'm not sure. Uh, Goy Talk Live got gifted. <laughs> Goy Talk. Harry Balls on ya. That's great. Just great stuff. And some of the stuff that... Why are his arms outstretched like this? Didn't sell in the auction. So, guys, um, <laughs> imagine I do this. So, some of the stuff that didn't sell in the auction, that'll be up later. <laughs> I just, for no reason, his arms are out like this. Why? So... Just so you know, everything will be great. Just remember, I do a lot of auctions. Why are his arms out like that? That's wild. <laughs> Put together a garage shell and some of the stuff. Why, why are his arms out like that? It's freaking me out. He's freaking me out. He just wants to be picked up like a baby? Holy shit. All right, I got to turn him off again. It's too much. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> so there'll be some more auctions later. You guys are all great for being here. Just really great stuff. Bop, bop, shudulu-wop, bam, bam, ding, ling. <laughs> like, what, what is he? What is that? I, I'm, I'm blown away. I, I really don't get that. All right, guys, pick yourself up some merch. Out of nowhere, he's just going to extend his arm. Merch, links are down below. Some of the stuff. Oh, I'm going to be adding to the merch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's a trailer. Thriller night. <laughs> like, what is going on? What is up? Store. <laughs> he just, he's falling back. Uh, he's like, it's wild. The coming days as well. <laughs> They're just out. They're just out for no reason. Put him down. Put him down. And like I said, I might put together a garage shell and some of the stuff. Why are his arms out? Why are they out? For no reason. He's just having a conversation and they're just outstretched. That didn't sell in the auction will be posted on there as well. Like I said. So Holy shit. That was really funny. Continue being a subscriber, a fan, a friend, and just know you were loved. Happy Father's Day. Happy Mother's Day. All you beautiful women out there, if you need a date, you think I'm cute, I'm funny. Whoa. I'm available. I'll do webcam sex. I don't care if you... I just need a new <laughs> webcam first because my iPhone overheats. I can do webcam sex because I did get some video editor. I like to edit all my webcam sex. In my video, in my video editing software. So just so you know, I'm good at it. I bang. I'm, I'm a webcam sex guy. And basically, I'm on, I'm an unstoppable force to be reckoned with.
when it comes to fucking. So that's Bauer. That's the auction update. Um, you know, really, really a lot to unpack there because it started out with the auction, but then it got into like, oh, $400 he got bid on one of the items. So he's doing pretty well. Someone's doing well, that kind of stuff. And so we're going, okay, well, the auction must have worked out really nice for him. But then we hear, oh, the $400 bidder hasn't contacted him. And who knows how many of these bids on these three items are, are fake bids. And he might never see the money. So he's starting to worry about that a little bit. The one guy paid with the quickness. Dino. Dino paid with the quickness. So I find that odd that out of all the auctions, only one guy paid quickly. And uh, and I got an email the other day from a guy named Dino. And you might know him in the chat as Vaping Dago. And he sent me an email letting me know he won an auction for the Willies. We got one! And it's why I didn't want to bring it up yesterday or talk about it yesterday and telling you that I couldn't talk about it yesterday. We had to make sure this VHS was in the mail. And unstoppable by donkey lips. Dino won the auction for the Willies. He's the only one that paid Michael Ray Bauer. And that VHS is on its way to Dino, who is going to immediately flip it and send it in to Nobody Likes Onions, where we will be burning your precious belongings on air as Promised. And just in case you don't believe me that we are getting the actual official Michael Ray Bauer autographed copy from Dino himself of the Willies, I have in my possession a video certificate of authenticity and boy oh boy is it good let's watch yo oh, congratulations on being the winning bidder for the willies vhs autographed with two photos that are about to be autographed live on a video for you so let's get right into it. This is your certificate of authenticity in video form. I'm autographing the front of the VHS and leaving room for others in the future. This is going I'll great. I'll also autograph the back as well. He's leaving room for other autographs in the future. As if we're going to be taking around this copy, this VHS copy of the Willies to conventions. Michael Ray Bauer already signed it. Will you sign here? Will you be the next to autograph? The overlays are blowing out. The overlays are blowing out. Uh, let's get sit. Let's get this in the last couple minutes. Monumental achievements. Karika will send us. These gifted memberships are pissing me the fuck off. I'm going to cry in the arms of my wife tonight. You thought that Gino not picking up my calls made me sad? Well, this is a whole other level of upset. Come up big, you pieces of shit. Stop giving to the neckbeard with tits. This guy who sits here hunchbacked with a fucking gut. Ugh. I can't win for losing. I'm a member now. I've been outed. Duh. Fuck you, Bone in the Carbarian. Fuck you, DK Chandler. And I'm a voyeur at heart. And my NLO membership card is soaked in copious amounts of cum. Ah! Oh, boy. Oh, fucking boy. Uh. 
There's one more. Yo, we got to take the power back. Bam. Here's the plan. Motherfuck Uncle Sham, step back. I know who I am. Rise up your ear. I'll drop the style and clear. It's the beach and the lyrics they fear. The rage is relentless. We need a movement with a quickness. You are the witness of change. And to counteract, we got to take the power back. Uh, Tony South, thank you so much for gifting a membership. That, that means a lot. And MZ uh, got that membership. Whoa. Holy shit. Back to our certificate of authenticity. Guess he couldn't use his video editing software to edit this out. Just so you could have something unique on top of my photo. Autograph the front, and you can get other autographs and autograph the back. And now I'm going to do your photos. I'm going to do your photos. Super duper. Got it, Belcher. Let me personalize it. He just mumbled the name of the character he plays in the movie, Gordy Belcher. As if we all know Gordy from the Willies. Adam Two Ants, dude, this is getting outrageous. I wonder uh, who we will bust next time with memberships. We got Carl. We got Corey. Hold on. Did we get Carl? No way. Carl doesn't watch this shit. There you go. And where, sorry, I missed it again. Where are we at with Steel Toe memberships? Are they hitting today? Brother, there's your autographed photo. Sorry, might not be seen too well because of the camera. And you also got this one. Gordy. Gordy. Hello. Coming to you in the mail. Ray got gifted a couple uh, weeks ago. We did get Carl. Oh, boy. Hi, Carl. There it is, your autograph of certificate. Kissing. I can't believe we haven't gotten Chad yet. He must have turned him off. I'm also going to be sending you a video message of a thank you on the side. So that's the certificate of authenticity. He says, I'll also be sending you a video uh, thank you message on the side. And believe it or not, we got that too already. Our Bauer video thank you message. Would you like to hear that one? Here we go. This is just a personal thank you to Dino. I, I muted the name out because I didn't know he was going to out it in his video. So don't worry about it. I beat Dino out. But here's Bauer's personal thank you to Dino. Yo, I just wanted to thank you for the support. Sorry about all the confusion in emails, but never done an auction before. But congratulations on winning the Willie's VHS autograph to you in the other video. I just did it and picking up the photos. And I can't thank you enough for the support. You're an amazing human being. You can consider this a secondary video certificate of authenticity. And I can't thank you enough for being a friend, a fan, and an amazing human being. Thank you for supporting. God bless you. And we'll talk to you soon. Why are you going to talk soon? Are you guys friends now? Look. It's Michael Ray Bauer shining out. Oh, boy. Hold on. We got to go see that back. There's just... Moments of complete silence, and then this. It's Michael Ray Bauer shining out. That's going to be the new show sign-off. It's Michael Ray Bauer shining out. That's up there with this one. These lights will guide me home. You know, I mean, this is epic. It's epic. So I anticipate next week... To have video of the Butch Bradley hearing. 
I anticipate next week or the week after very shortly to have in my possession Michael Ray Bauer's personal VHS copy of a movie no one's ever heard of or seen, The Willies. And as promised, if if one of you wins an item from Michael Ray Bauer's auction, and there's more auctions starting tomorrow, apparently, send it into the P.O. box on your screen again now, and I will burn it live on the show, as promised. Something very, very precious to Michael Ray Bauer that means nothing to the rest of us. We'll burn it. We'll make a clip. We'll make sure he gets it and sees the memory of his father's ghost in the flames as it burns to nothing. You know, and, and if we can get more and more of his belongings to just burn and burn for piddly little amounts. And, you know, I, I hate to call Michael Ray Bauer a fucking liar, but he says in his auction results video that this video went for over $150. I have it on authority from Dino Vaping Dago himself. This auction was $101. That's what he bid. He paid $4 for shipping for a total of $105. Donkey Lips goes out and tells everybody it was $150. That's why it's funny when he said uh, the other one was $175. No, $200. And the other one was over 400 But remember, no one else has paid him for any of that stuff. And you know what the best part is? Dino is the second highest bidder on the other items. So we might be getting even more. And Donkey Lips, I know what you're thinking. I'm not going to pick Dino to win the next item, or uh, even though he's the next highest bidder. You have to. You need the money. You have to. And Dino has made it clear he has no problem buying more of Donkey Lips' stuff just to watch it burn. He's a fan of The Onion. He's a fan of the show. And oh my God. Are we going to have fun just watching him watch us burn things? Okay? That's the kind of show we are. We're mean-spirited comedy, you know? By the way, get a hold of those hats. Chad keeps saying he's going to burn, and I'll burn them. Hasn't, hasn't, haven't listeners won those hats from Chad, the mud hat and the onion hat? Get them, send them back to me, and I'll burn them. I'll burn them. Let Bo burn them, you know what I'm saying? Dan G, if today is the YouTube payday, what's the odds Chad's not on this afternoon because of various podcast issues? You know, Tito's. Chad calls Tito's a podcast issue. <laughs> uh, somebody said Steel Toes updated to $45. What does that mean? What does that mean? That's their goal now? They, they only need 45 Yeah, they only need 45 bucks. I'm sure they'll knock that out. How could they not? If you can't get $45, then, you know, what are we even talking about here? Doing it before? Because we reported on somebody else putting out anti-Semitic flyers in plastic. How is it every time we check in with them randomly, trans, race stuff, Jew stuff? Every time. It's not even, you don't even have to, hey, Carl, are you watching? Join Shuli and all the other guys, Kumia, who are starting to realize this steel toe is a bucket of lol gold. Lol gold. Get out. Go panning for lol gold. I mean, these guys are basic. They're basic. And every day it's anti-Semitic, trans bashing, vaccine stuff. It's like... They're stuck in 2021 with the, doing this alt-right garbage. Hey, Stephanie, thanks for becoming a member. Just Glasses, two ninety nine dollars super sticker. You mean cum glasses? Just glasses. Just glasses. 
they pander to alt right. Yeah, I know, but how is it like random? You know, like the the joke about like panning up any part of the BS show and Mike Morse isn't talking, or it's like that. It's like just turn on randomly steel toe at any point. This is live. Twenty minutes away from firing up the music and cleaning up that last forty five. Unless you guys want to do it ahead now, of time. yeah, fine with us. Uh, and Ill- oh, we we never got to this guy. I've been meaning to talk about this since like Thursday of last week. And Ill- you, you know how you've uh, brought up to people uh, some of my sleep habits if I'm having a bad dream, the panics, the sleep jacking, oh, the things like God, that. It's terrifying. Horrible things. We forgot that she wakes up in the middle of the night and he's furiously masturbating. He's hunched over in bed, jacking off. Couple this with the blue chew and Gino doesn't answer your call. You know, I mean, like if you really put all the things you've forgotten about movie movie on a one sheet, just a simple tear sheet. He he sleep jacks. He only fucked his wife good once. You know, Steelho is a nanner and blocked me or I would torture him right now. KB is going to flip out. What do you mean KB is going to flip out? Freak out. Like, I could absolutely see you doing this. Uh Uh-oh. Well, this guy, uh, like, imagine, I love how they describe it. Like, they're like, oh, man, got his gun. He shot an intruder and then uh, just kind of woke up and realized it was all a dream and he shot himself in the leg. That's not what happened. The guy had a dream. He shot the intruder. And then this is all you heard. Ah! Fuck! As his leg just spurts blood. Out of the oh, open God. wound where the bullet is. Gross. And he's screaming for dear life. Oh, God. But I love how they play it up like he was like, yo, oh, man. Oh, I just oh. shot that guy in my sleep. And, oh, damn. Look at that. Oh, a little trickle. Capped myself a little bit there. But Toe is a sex guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. I forgot he's a sex guy. By the way, I, I, I'd be willing to bet uh, we're past them on monetary value of memberships because... We got hundreds of nine ninety nine members. He got rid of his nine ninety nine membership, and it's like five ninety nine now. So I bet, like monetarily, we've already passed him. But just for the numbers, just for the solid sake of numbers, I cannot wait to beat this motherfucker. <laughs> like, come on, because everything he has, we're slowly taking away from him. The metrics he still beats us in are like live, live viewers in the morning. You know, we do around 350. He does around 450 now. He's at 430 now. We're not too far behind, but the live numbers, but then the the actual numbers, like after 24 hours, the views are very similar and we beat him at least half the time. So I love like eroding slowly every last place he has for refuge. Oh, we have uh, memberships. Okay, we'll beat you in memberships. Oh, we have the subscribers. All right, we'll beat you in subscribers. Well, we have the the viewers. It's like you can't keep over time referring to someone right on your heels. By the way, who's only been doing it for three months fucking around. You can't keep writing them off as a little show or one of these tiny shows or coattail chasers. If I can come in and in three to four months catch up to where you're at doing what you do, a dumb morning show, and that's what I count this as, a stupid morning show. I wake up at 2 a.m. for laughs. For laugh, I don't need to do this. I'll go back to doing two shows a week. I don't give a fuck. It's funny. It's funny watching him in his head constantly have to recalibrate his insults and cope based on the new numbers. And and, and from what I'm seeing, he still has not hit the 10K. He has to be losing his fucking mind. 998. So he's 20 off now. He's 20 off the pace. And it's just got to be driving him nuts. He thought he'd hit it last week. He thought he'd hit it the week before. He thought he'd hit it at Easter. And now people are unsubscribing for the joke to keep him from hitting it. 
I'm not delusional. He will hit it. We all know that. He's the only one who seems to not know it or have confidence in it. You know what I mean? Again, if he just turned his back to it and don't worry about it and do your show, you'll organically get your 30 subscribers this week. Like, just do your show. Just do a do a show that's an interesting, fun show. No, no, no. He's got to focus on it and constantly yell at everybody about it. Uh, it's crazy. It's wild. Uh, that's going to be an awkward sleepover, but you think Ape and Canoe would be able to do, would be able to kill in Super Chats if they went live during their stay? Oh, do you think Canoe and Gino are staying at their house? YouTube was never a priority for the show. It is now. It is now. I want to beat them. I need 800 members. I need 10,002 subscribers. They might be view botting. I, I, I still don't even understand what that really entails. How people bot. Uh, you do this for fun. He does it for a living. He can never win anything. I do it for a living. I do do it for a living. It's just a different philosophy. I don't need a running tally up here telling me how you guys did every day. I don't like, that's not what it's about. I, I, I look at the big picture. How did we do this month? How are sales? How are, how are views? How are memberships in a big picture way? I don't come on here every day aside from this week. How many memberships do we have? How many memberships do we have? It's like the likes thing. We did it one day. It was fun. Let's beat him in likes. Let's get 500 likes. Let's do it. Let's beat him. And that was fun. We did it. I don't know. I don't care about likes every day. We put we put a person in charge of likes every day because Chad did that and it, when he was drunk, and it's funny. What does it even mean? Maury Memento, you're in charge of likes today. I am? What does that mean? I don't know. You're in charge of likes. Be in charge of them. Uh, okay. You know. Likes don't pay the rent. Don't, don't believe that. Chad will have you believe that likes pay the rent. It just is. It's like, uh, speaking of Carl from WATP, like they lay it out so well. Chad doesn't know how to like get along with other humans. It's like, again, I don't know. I don't particularly know if Carl from WATP even likes me, but like, who cares? He probably doesn't give a fuck if I like him. I don't give a fuck if he likes me. And yet we don't clash with each, with each other. I don't know, make fun of Carl because of how he talks or his teeth. And then he's going to make fun of me because of my tits and hats. You know, like, uh, okay. I wouldn't lose my mind about it. And probably Carl wouldn't either. Chad has a personal vendetta where Carl and Patrick and KB and Bob and Chrissy Mayer are now not invited to Chad's imaginary wedding. You just wait until a girl talks to me one day. You guys won't be allowed to come to the party we throw when we decide to spend eternity together. Why don't we just take it one step at a time, Chad? You know, maybe that toxicity is the very thing that's keeping you from attaining a girlfriend in the first place. Maybe that sort of, you know, balled up, Anger and animosity is the very thing that's driving the women away on the first date. You know. He went on this date with this woman and she's she never gonna see him again. Why do you think that is, Chad? I wonder how how many minutes into the conversation before he started ranting about Carl and Chrissy to this date. A hundred percent, right? Like he a de he definitely brought up podcasting and Carl and Chrissy and the cucks. It's like, what? You know, I don't particularly have any allegiance or alliance to any of them. I don't care about Gino, but I don't have anything against Gino. Gino's never done anything to me. I understand a lot of you have big feelings about it. Who cares? I make up my own mind about gentlemen. A lot of people hate Carl. Who cares? Every time we've talked, he's a nice guy. Everything I've seen him seems to be morally up and up. I don't, you know, I don't see Carl doing shady shit that I'm weary of Carl about. Carl seems fine. 
He does a show. I find the show funny. I watch all the clips. Not ashamed to admit that. I'm not, I'm not Chad. I don't go, I never watch it. It's great. It's great. I watch a lot of it. Who cares? Chad's the only one embarrassed about watching stuff, <laughs> even though that's his whole thing now. I'm the sniper. <laughs> Loved you on Blue's Clues. Oh, that was Swiper. Is it Swiper? I, I don't know why I even know that. I've never seen an episode of Blue's Clues in my life. But you got to be up on this stuff, just like the Harry Potter. Am I right? Chad professional. Chad professed his celibacy last week. On one of his walks, no sex for Chad. How long has this been in the works? And are we supposed to believe it's voluntary? I was just talking about eating that Thacker barrel yesterday. Brad Thacker, he for sure did, or she Googled him and saw the clips of his show. I mean, imagine Googling Chad Zuma. I, I, you know, I don't know. Citizen M, I'm not a huge fan of Carl, but Gino, Chrissy, and Frank are bad. It's not a feeling. They are shady. They do secret ops. It's documented. They're shit. I don't know, man. I I think you'd be lying if you said you didn't do secret ops, Citizen M. What everybody considers a secret op, you know, is not, who cares? By the way, if, if all you have on Chrissy is she stole those Christmas presents, it like makes her a momentary piece of shit. But I'd be lying if I said I never stole anything. You'd probably be lying if you said you never stole anything. I think it's a funny story. I don't know why she's even denying it now. Like, just stick with it. Be like, yeah, I was drunk, and I stole a bunch of Christmas presents from a restaurant. It'd be something I would laugh about to this day. Is it shitty? Does it suck that those people had their stuff stolen? Yes. Doesn't make it not a funny story. It doesn't mean you're an irredeemable sack of shit. So, you know, I don't know. Dora, damn it. <laughs> Hold on, what's, oh, is that what Swiper's from? Yeah, well, I don't know. I don't, I don't know why I know that. I don't think I've ever seen Dora the Explorer either. She got a big old ass. Uh, gums, she craves sugar cubes. Patrick steals my last two hours of sleep every day. Almost 10,000 subscribers. No, 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 no. She turns her mouth to the side when she talks. Well, get her. God forbid you ever have a stroke and are talking out of a straw. <laughs> oh, shit. Good times. Good times. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm ready to tell you guys about that quite yet. So we may be wrapping up here. We may be wrapping up. Melton sticking up for compound creepers. They will fuck you over. This is the problem you all have. You are all very binary thinkers. You know, I don't, you know, you guys all go, Melton's teaming up with compound. They're going to fuck you over. It's like, they can't fuck me over because I'm not teaming up with compound, you fucks. And I know you're saying sticking up for here. It's like, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. E-Rock is a fucking idiot. Anthony Cumia is a very talented guy. And all the stuff about the underage girls and uh, the him being a racist drunk are bad things. And if there's validity to any of that, it's bad. I'm not sticking up for anybody. I don't know shit, and neither do you. And I find it disturbing that you've all, you know, cemented your opinions and you know everything, even though you don't know shit. Kumia might be a guy who go who loves younger women and wants to fuck younger girls. And that ain't a crime in and of itself. Does it mean I want to hang out with him? Probably not. Does it mean I'm defending him? No, I don't know anything about it. I, you know, I don't, oh boy. I just don't feel the need to like pile on to people when I don't know anything about a situation. You all expect everyone to be caught up with all the info and then to have the same opinion as you. And that's just not how the world works. 
Kumi had a racist rant on YouTube the other day while gaming, said one or two slurs. Yeah, I've seen it all. It's bad. It's bad. I think he surrounded himself with fucking idiots who don't challenge him and tell him that he's out of pocket. He's surrounded with a bunch of yes men, good one boss type guys, and it doesn't behoove him to be surrounded with sycophants like that because... At the end of the day, the network's been running to the ground. His image and his brand has been running to the ground. The people who used to come around don't come around. It is all heading into the toilet. I understand everything you're all saying. I I tend to blame. Look, he's ultimately blamed because it's his company, but E-Rock is asleep at the goddamn wheel. E E-Rock is a disaster. An untalented, lazy boob who is coasting along and stealing an old man's money, as a lot of people at Compound are doing. I don't know if Gino and Chrissy and all those people are in on it, but it doesn't even matter. The boss is asleep, and everybody's playing while he's sleeping. So, you know, everybody's a little out of it. Everybody's a little fucked up over there. That's just the way it is. Lucas says, too bad we didn't cover Haley today. Looking forward to that in the future. Also got to finish the KC stuff. We got so much stuff for the week remaining. Tomorrow will be packed and packed. Friday, something a little special for you. I don't want to give it away yet. And, um, but yeah, so. I, I, I'm not defending anybody. I just, I, I don't pretend to know everything. And it upsets me that you think you know everything. I'd caution everybody to be a little more reserved on your opinions. You'll never look stupid by going, I don't know all the information and I don't want to make, make a call on that. When you don't. Now, some things we can make a call on. Ray's an idiot. Chad's an idiot. Melton's an idiot. Sure. I wave the flag. Probably. <laughs> um, But that's just what it is. Chrissy and Frank work to fuck other comedians over behind closed doors. Again, I've heard, I've heard a lot of that. I hear that. And if it's true, absolutely fuck them. You know? You don't think, you don't think that I'm the kind of guy... When presented with evidence of them doing something shitty to another comic or to me that I wouldn't speak up about it, of course I would. But I hear a lot of, like, accusations and not a lot of evidence. You know what I mean? It's like when Chad goes on goes on uh, uh, MLC to confront Bob about all the bad advice. And Bob goes, all right, what bad advice did I give you? And Chad just goes, uh, uh, uh. Honestly, I don't know what's going on right now. It's like, yeah, of course you don't. You run your mouth so much that you believe your bullshit. Chad says Bob gives me bad advice so much he believes it now. And then when confronted, like, name one piece of bad advice Bob gave you. He's like, ah, uh, duh. It's just a fucking air in his goddamn brain. He can't handle it. Uh, name a piece of bad advice I got. Uh... Just dead. Just turns off. His brain melts to mush because he's, li he's lying. You know? And a lot of people do this kind of stuff. Where they, But he's convinced himself that, no, Bob gave me bad advice. Bob told you to sit tight and not do anything. And then you ran out and stream sniped and called Kevin a bunch of names and then started threatening Bob's stepdaughter. Is that doing nothing? Was that Bob's advice that you do all that stuff? Chris Bueller, you know what to do. You know what to do. Ack, ack. What does that mean? Chris Bueller, you know what to do. You know what to do. Ack, ack. What am I missing? No crosstalk, please. Chris Bueller said, I stole the money to gift those memberships. Oh. Yeah, see, I don't have a problem with that. If you guys steal anything and give it to me, I think that's great. I'm really happy about that, and I would prefer it. Just like Bauer, we stole we stole his VHS tapes, and I'm going to burn those to the ground. I can't imagine. But before we do any of that, boys and girls, we have 45 bucks left in today's goal. 
Let's fire. So they up. haven't gotten a penny of that yet. Let's see what happens. Oh, here, this should go fast. If I asked for forty-five dollars, I imagine I could have it in a minute if I really needed it. Forty-five away. Thank you guys so much for getting us right. Two point six percent. There's the links in the chat. Streamlabs, PayPal, Venmo, Super Chats, memberships, gifted memberships. I believe. And much, much more. Go ahead and uh, fire a couple of bucks in there. Zen Rhino. You know said, how he has to control everything. He types everything. He runs the chat. She does nothing. Nothing better be. Nice. But he's also first you mic. Hear that by the time she comes back. Hey, he has he has to talk and like beg that. and do all the talking while she sits there and does nothing. Right, he doesn't trust her enough to handle the the um the chat room. Really, hammer out the rest of it. Let's get our likes up to 200, guys. Get on the like train. The rally. Who's going to fire it up first? Maury Memento and Edinburgh Mikey. Get it going. 45 away. Let's do See it. See if you can beat G-Rob. I think she had 217 last time I checked yesterday. With my dick in my hand. Eh? Get it because of the master, because of the porns. Sean Raz with 10 bucks says, fine, I missed. Fine, I missed. Okay, fair enough. Thank you for the 10 bucks, buddy. Uh, Sean Raz is going to start off the rally. 40 bucks away. Who's going to come in with another 5 or 10? 5 or 10 at a time will knock this out. Four or five people. This will be pretty easy. 10 bucks away, or uh, excuse me, 40 bucks away from hammering this thing out. Streamlabs, PayPal, Super Chats, memberships. Let's do it. Zen Rhino says Chad did a members only stream last night. I'm sure nobody was watching or only retards were watching. Ah. They need something to watch too, though, don't they? Any. Wow, Carlos Danger just gave five dollars to Steel Toe. Look at this. Anyone else? I don't know. I'm not Ray's producer. Say it. Phage lives with nine ninety nine. Says for a great host. And wow, Carlos Danger. I don't know. Danger with five bucks says I am not Ray's producer. Say it. Well, I mean, you. Wow. Paid you know. Twenty five away from hammering it out. Thank you, Carlos. I like Carlos. Wow. Carlos grows on you. S subscribe to what is it the bastard six carlos no that's his uh twitter carlos grows on you i don't know this is making me hate him sufferable bastards podcast or just insufferable bastards one of the two go subscribe put the fucking link in the chat uh give granny a try as wednesday co-host says cock diff i can certainly have granny on sometime 20 bucks granny is the dude that little lemmy fucks grammy is little granny is little lemmy's uh boyfriend or husband or whatever and then we call it a w for steel toe today uh dead fool with 1999 says I, do i have to sing this it's been a while there you go stained five bucks away i think we're gonna knock it out guys Woo! i think the five bucks is gonna be pretty easy to come by kill the music they did it we hit the goal is Carlos Danger trolling us? Was that worth it, Carlos? Yeah, I don't know. Look, big bit, you know, that's painful from Carlos. <laughs> Look, every everyone is free to give to whoever you want. Give to Chad, give to Carlos, give to whoever you want. God knows people support me, and a million people think that I don't deserve it over here. So give to whoever you want. Just know, the longer it takes you to catch up with the rest of us, the harder we will laugh. Uh, sorry, lack of impulse control. I didn't uh, realize I was wrecking a bit. You didn't wreck, Carlos, you didn't wreck a bit. And also, you don't have to give me money. Carlos, dangerous. Five bucks. Look, you don't have to give me money, and you weren't wrecking a bit. There was no bit. If they couldn't hit $45, we were in trouble. You know, they're in bigger trouble than we thought but the bit is that ten thousand subscribers we're trying to prolong that because it's funny uh even though of course they're gonna hit it of course but no it's not that you're wrecking a bit it's that you everyone will end up on the same timeline that the rest of us are on that timeline is steel toe sucks steel toes hack Steel Toe's a bunch of insecure grifters, okay? That's the timeline we are on, okay? And I know that the word grifter and grift gets thrown around so much. People, it's lost all meaning. I'm a grifter. Chad's a grifter. Chad's not a grifter. 
Chad gives you promises you nothing promises you more Chad and gives you Chad and you you give him money to keep being Chad. That's not a grift. Me selling t-shirts is not a grift. <laughs> you know, I, I, I it's all fu fucking hell, DK. DK just gave $45 on top of gifting 50 memberships and giving other super chats today. I can't. See, this is too much. I start feeling like, oh, I don't deserve. This is a bit over what I feel comfortable taking. So these will be refunded. This is all just for fun. But Carlos Danger will catch up to us one day and go, Castillo is really a bad show. And then what we'll do is go, remember how long it took you to realize that? And the same thing, you know, I, again, I don't have anything, but again, two of these podcasts and Carl, but Carl's not dumb. He knows Steel Toe is like a cornball shit show. He not, he can't not know. If Carl doesn't know, not, hold on, that's too many negatives. If Carl doesn't know that that's a shitty cornball show, I got to recalibrate my Carl. That's not my Carl. That ain't the Carl that I know. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. So that's where I'm at with it. Um, I can't wait. We'll give a membership update tally tomorrow. I, I really think we're showing over 120 memberships today. So we got to be pretty close. Pretty, it depends on how many roll off too. Cause you know, like some people's end every day too. So I think, but we got to be close. I mean, that is today was fucking, you know what I mean? And what's crazy about the memberships. It's not indicative of fans. It's like KB has been saying for the last couple of days. It's like you're gifting people memberships who don't even want a membership, but at least they come over to this show. There's a chance they might enjoy it. And uh, like it, you give a gift, you give somebody a, a Chad uh, membership and, you know, you never know which way it's going to go. Edinburgh Mike, you're trying to get two more likes to get us to 100. Hit the like button. God, you're making me sound like Steel Toe. I don't like this. I put you guys in charge of likes and then you make me like an ambassador for you to get likes. I don't like that. Pun intended. Edinburgh Mikey, thank you so much. All right, we're going to get out of here. That's your Bauer auction update. I think it was great. I think we really, really are going to have a great show when we get his VHS next week and burn it. Happy to have given Bauer $105 to help with his financial situations, which is a great value for a shitty VHS movie that no one wants and no one could get and and believe it or not I tried to I was looking at the VHS copies of the Willies the other day that I had open on tabs that we were we were checking out during a show they're actually sold out you can't get them this actually is a pretty rare VHS I don't give a shit we're going to burn it we're going to burn it live on the show and we're going to burn it as soon as I get it next week we've got great shows Coming up for the rest of this week, stick around. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your love. Check out the store. Buy something over at nobodylikesonions.com slash store. Join the overdose. Best way to get access to everything, audio versions, and to support the show. Uh, overdose Light here on YouTube works as well. We'll see you soon. Go tell people about it, huh? Your manner is most unbecoming of a gentleman. Would you be high on cigarettes? I don't know if the comedy has any. Retarded or just high on cigarettes. Question posed to stupid hoes who don't get it yet. Excuse me, miss. Are you high on cigarettes? I don't know if the comedy hasn't hit them yet. They're full blown retarded or just high on cigarettes. All the laughter that you did for if you listen to the show, boy Patrick Melton, Melton faces. Have you stacking that no low point? It's the low point, not the reason. The reason is fucking gold. Gonna make the taco pony party be a party of soul. Gonna make you vandalize a van with a pedal sticker. So bold the family probably get arrested before they get down the road. A stupid motherfuckers just got NL loaned. Other